I took a big break from Conan. It was required, honestly. I needed a break. I was kind of frustrated with the combat changes. And I'm, you know, my brain seeks dopamine, right? Like many of us. And the, the combat was always very satisfying to me, especially chapter two combat. I felt like what they'd done to it was like, mm, sweet. Do you know what I mean? It was like, like a ripe plum or <laughs> something. And then chapter four, came, uh, chapter three came along and I was like, you took away my joy. Why did you do this to me? I'm like sad. So, you know, uh, you know, they're doing their best. They're trying to like improve the game and constantly develop it and make it fun for us and everything. They have the best intentions, but I just, I was kind of salty, you know, it's kind of salty and I just wanted a bit of a break. Plus, you know, if I cover this game like so much, um, sometimes I just need like a bit of a, bit of a break and so many new survival games came out didn't they um so there you go so yes i'm very excited having had a nice juicy break um to like get back into the game and today i really want to warm up because i have not played this game for two months people can i remember how to play it i don't know let's see shall we chapter four yes exactly hello Arcania. hello hello in the middle of moving my computer is packed up anyone know if i get the drop on twitch today will i be able to redeem the drop in a month or so from when make sure you claim it in twitch you can do that from like your, your mobile presumably make sure you go to like your claim drops inventory page or whatever it is just make sure you click on that because if you don't claim it in twitch after you've like watched for however long i don't know why they have that as a function actually i feel like it should auto claim don't you think um, but yeah, she should be able to get it, even if you can't, like, open your game and stuff. Went hard on the latest season, hadn't played in years, loved it after modding it a bunch, particularly for comic chairs. Yeah, absolutely. The modders have done a great job, absolutely. Uh, it's how we found the stream looking at videos and how stuff works. Ah, oh, bless you. Um, been doing a bit of Savage Wilds playthrough, and we... <laughs> we love you, Carty. Screw Carty. Screw that cart. Also, I will be playing Ashlands when that comes out for Valheim, so we will be back to, like, beating up carts. <laughs> in that game as well i'm excited excited for chapter four me too came back after a year plus of playing other things right after the combat changes fortunately mods exist yeah it was hard times wasn't it i could i can just claim in twitch then yeah you can just claim it in twitch you don't have to even if you don't open your conan exiles game as long as you claim a drop in twitch you're fine yep what anna was saying is right off arena champion using only a salmon limb fight yeah that was another thing is i was a bit salty because I mean, you know, I wasn't like, I didn't like hold a grudge or anything, but I was just kind of a bit put off because I was planning to start this solo challenge, wasn't I? And I started playing it, having played the beta and everything, and um, it was just really like not the same game, like combat wise. It just didn't feel good and I was frustrated. So I did like one stream of that new series and I think this is the first chapter, like last chapter, chapter three or this current chapter, where I haven't actually done a full playthrough. I think that's the only the only time I've done that since uh, sorcery. Um, took a bit of a break, played for an hour or so last night, and the combat seemed much less janky. Yeah, I tell you what does feel good is when you come back to this game from like Nightingale, and a lot of us have been playing Nightingale and other games. I I just love how fluidly the character is animated. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I realise the camera is a bit dodge, and hopefully that's going to be changed soon. Um, but I do like how kind of human and fleshy the character feels and that might sound really weird but if you've been playing nightingale which is a wonderful game i love it it's very imaginative very different we need this kind of i want this kind of level of animation it's taken them obviously years to get to this stage um you know i'm watching on my phone yeah by all means uh, ed thank you for the follow welcome welcome um never use carts in valheim what are they for they're for beating up alejandro they are just there to kick and punch and swear at. Yes, absolutely. Um, seven, seven, four, coming against... What does that mean, Anakashan? Um, got maybe 2,000 hours in Conan. Yeah, that's it. Third person view of Nightingale is not great, yeah. They started off in first person, and then due to kind of demand, they, they gave us a third person option. Um, and I really like to be in third person because I, I find first person, I tend to get a bit seasick or motion sick or whatever. Um, plus, I want to be able to see enemies coming at me from different directions and whatnot and fighting them off. And in this game, I really like a wide FOV. Um, as I know some people find a bit too much to watch, um, actually feels kind of jarring to come back to such a wide FOV. 
Um, but I just like to be able to see the world. The world is beautiful. And uh, I want to see everybody trying to attack me. Um, Basically, beautiful mind is always a box made of trash. It took me a long time to get to this stage, so bear with it. Like, when I first started playing Conan Exiles, I started off with, you know, sandstone boxes, really, um, and nothing more than that. And now we're on, like, you know... I mean, I'm not even the best builder or the most complicated builder. Um, what I'd like to do is use the landscape that I have, carve out a bit of a shape uh, based on that, and then work on it you know what i mean like chip into it and kind of try to make it look less like a boring situation um so yeah i, I feel like we could have done better on this one i do like this central kind of like section Question that we've got um which is which is where our coffer is with all our like snakes and dollars and stuff okay you, somebody ran in here okay well thank you boys <laughs> Korea, thank you question mark. Korea, thank you so much for two months. Welcome back. Thank you for using your prime here. Thank you, thank you. Um, Ferroin Ferroin Stygian in Stygia because back Nimlot died by player. I see. Okay. A bit green because it's been years. You're helping me blow off the dust. Yeah, I'm blowing off the dust myself today. It's been two months. Swear at cards. You don't know. Oh, wait. Yeah. I don't swear at cards. Thank you for pointing that out, Thriller. What do I do? I just punch and kick them and I, I, I call them turd wallets. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Um, builds are gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank you. Checks in the post for that. Appreciate you. Um, so what do I want to do today? I just want to play the game. So this is my... This is a persistent world. This is on a server. Um, I've got this... Oh, my God. I just unplugged my mouse. Um, I've got this so that we can... Um, how do I say? I want to be able to like build things and stuff. I would like visit our builds as well. Um, I want us to build. I wanted to have somewhere that I could build. Um, can I get rid of that? I wanted somewhere that I could sort of make some buildings and things like that and not worry about it. Um, and then I could use single player as well to kind of, um, you know, make other things. We made this nice Yamatai tavern, um, which I really enjoyed building. Ah, that room. Can I? No. We don't have the option to sit yet. Interact. No. Uh, that is, I believe that's coming, the ability to interact with those. I don't know when that's coming. Presumably in Chapter 4. Um, but I really love building in this game and I love decorating and stuff. And, you know, one of the things I like about it, I feel the world is so immersive. Um, I love all the different build pieces and stuff. Um, you know, I like the fact that we got friendos. Do you know what I mean? Friendos in a game. Just better than real life, isn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and you could just build some kind of wonderful, like, s structures and, I don't know, immerse yourself and, I don't know. I just love it so much. I will always love this game. I, I will be very sad if and when eventually they stop supporting it because it's very special to me, you know? Um... What else have we built here? I don't remember, peeps. I did like had like something over here. We had something over here, like a little teeny tiny outpost, um, which was for the Stygian fortress. I need to turn off my chat thingy. This is like a little teeny outpost. Of course, we got a sandstorm um, with just like a bed and some decorations and stuff, so we could like. I don't know, like a little operating base, I suppose. Um, what else do we have? Does anyone remember where else I built? This is the pyramid. Oh, yeah. Oh, the taverns. So we have a little teeny tiny tavern over here. This is the one I did for my video for Funcom. Uh, if you want to know how the taverns work, I have a video which in which I build this little place. Very simple little tavern. Um, of course there's a sandstorm. <laughs> Thank you, game. Um, so yeah, we have this nice little place for people to come and gather and hide from the sandstorm and get a drink. It's full of people. Performers and whatnot. And then we have a fancier version of this. Much bigger, a much fancier version up in the north. Over here. Bum, 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 bum. Love building a game. Is it frozen for you guys? What's frozen? Is it my stream? Is everything okay? 
Can you use Pippi heat map to find your bases? Yes, I don't actually have Pippi on my stream game though, because I don't like it when I go into admin mode that it brings up a load of Pippi information. Um, Gina Waking is going to be good. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. There we go. Um, I'm just relying on my memory here. This is our beautiful tavern. I've really enjoyed building this. Um, this is why I've got this server, so that I can have like a bunch of different structures and things. Um, I shall show you the outside. But it is basically just a circle and I added some kind of sections along the sides. Um, so we could have like cosy little nooks or alcoves or things to kind of, you know, snug into. Uh, with a map room on the roof that doesn't have a lift to it because I just, you know, you could just add a lift at the back basically. Um, but that's just to give a bit more functionality as a as a base. Um, but it is a proper tavern with like sleeping quarters and stuff. Um, a lot of you have seen this already, but it's nice to, for me to have like a little reminder. People yelling at each other. We can sit at the bar, get ourselves a beverage. I transmogged the lady at the bar as well using improved quality of life. Um, got a couple of a couple yelling at each other. <laughs> Which is what really every bar needs, isn't it? This is the little snug places. It's like super cosy. Yeah, and this little food section, which I need to top up the coal for so that the, they burn on. And then we've got an upstairs with hopefully Leonel is still here and hasn't quit. Yeah, she's still here. She dances up forever in perpetuity. She just can't stop. She's just got the most incredible muscles. <laughs> and we've got like, uh, what are they called? Ensuite bathrooms. Come on, mate. Move. You better move. Okay, this is why we always have double doors in this game. <laughs> and then we have all these little, like, rooms to sleep in. There we go. Nice. I think I had voice um, on, like, zero. Uh, where is it? There we go. I had voice on zero. So there you go. Now you can't hear people yelling at each other. <laughs> it's perfect. Um gonna find a good server to play on. Uh, built an entire involuntary worker city. Involuntary worker city on the Savage Worlds map. I like that. It's a nice, nice name for it. I had to refer to a tavern build last night as my tavern was kind of well off. So thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you for that. I'm glad it was helpful. Um so yeah, so I'm like excited to do what building and things. I just, I feel really, I, I had a bunch of time off in February. I had a lot of time off stream playing Nightingale because I had some stuff to do for them. Um, and I wanted to learn about that game if I was going to do a beginner's guide to it. Um, and I couldn't stream it. It was on embargo. Have I, is the music going to play? I think it's music's just a bit silent at the moment. Uh, so I couldn't stream it. So I did, I spent a lot of time in February playing that game and kind of powering through it. And then I had some IRL stuff at the end of February and my birthday. Um, so I took kind of some time off then. So it, this has like been my most non-streaming period of time since I started two years ago. Um, so I'm kind of just like rested, excited, hungry to play, uh, excited for the new age, the new chapter and then the new age and whatnot. What is over here? Oh, I played around with some Yamatai pieces before I built the bar, I guess. Um... This is where I was messing around with it. I don't know if I have any more buildings to show you. Did I build anything else? I don't think so. Pyramids. Did we build anything in the jungle? I was going to build something up north over here. Um, I was going to do a stream where I build like a big cathedral when the um, the last, the last, not here. Where was it? Oh, was it by the dam or something? Hmm. I want to say it was around here. I don't know if the build pieces are still there. Yeah. So around this area, I think, yeah, yeah, on here. I'm going to build something at some point because this feels like a really nice location. Um, so we'll do, maybe we'll do a stream at some point. Maybe during the Beast period or something. Um, we'll just kind of do a little cozy build here. Um, so there you go. I think that's all the buildings anyway. So let's gear up and let's just play the game. I just want to like eat about, um, you know, just get back into the combat and stuff. Um, I can't say anything about that, I'm afraid. Um, um, wish they could do one for PS5. 
birthday. Thank you, yeah, thank you. Um, when Jeff Funko made a statement about it. A statement about what, sorry. Anna needs to recruit someone and name them. Name them Nelson! Oh my god, because of Nightingale. There's that dead friendo. So, um, let me come out of creative mode. And then, okay, so I am kind of specced for agility, as usual. Agility, vitality, some grit, some expertise. I just want to run around and murderfy some things. Um, I've been, you know, haven't murderfied anything in a satisfying way for a while. Um, our friendo here, Knight, has got some uh, truncheon, Seth's truncheon, coup de grasse. Um, we've got some whip bindings, which is from, I think, from the Battle Pass, right? Um, which is just a reskin of the... Uh, Bindings of the Dead, right? With a huge amount of durability, I think. Was it from the Bindings of the Dead or was it like basic ch chain? I forget. Uh, we got a pickaxe. We got some Exalted Exquisite Meat. We got some Elixir of Grace so we can um, buff our agility. Uh, let's pop that over there. Like that. Oh, Grayel, thank you for the thousand bits. You don't have to do that. That's very sweet of you. Thank you, thank you. Um... There's some kind of ancient evil coming, but that's it. Hmm. Is there any info about Chapter 4 from Funcom? Not yet. The The dev stream is on on Friday. So there you go. I will be um, co-streaming it on here on here on Twitch and here on YouTube because I know people are watching both right now. Uh, if you, by the way, if you're watching on um, if you're watching on YouTube, if you would like to take advantage of the drops, my channel is my Twitch channel is pinned at the top of the chat. Um, where should we go first? Should we go fight the spider? Shall we do the spider? Which is one of my favourite things to do. Um, I've got my... This is such a big base. I have to kind of use these, like, signs to help me get my way out. Uh, summoning place. Okay, we'll go this way. Let's go fight some beaches, shall we? Oh, how is audio level? You can hear the game and stuff, right? Could have grasped amazing to see shredded NPC comes. Yeah, it's super good. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. I love this uh, this pyramid. I was I was planning to like demolish it or start afresh or whatever at the end of like chapter two, um, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't really because it is nice to have a permanent hub that I can jump onto with all my gear and a level sixty character permanently. So I'm gonna leave this server as like a level sixty kind of situation. Um, I don't know if I'll ever wipe like the buildings or anything. I guess at some point I will probably wipe them to start afresh mayhaps um so here you go i'm so excited to fight again i'm so rusty do you know what i mean i have to like i have to prepare for myself i'm so like i don't know it feels really weird to be playing this game again but great you know i'm gonna the stream on friday yes that's it Funcom stream on friday it's uh, 11 o'clock east coast us 4 p.m uh, gmt um British time. We still do a lot of damage, I see. So yeah, I'll be co-streaming it basically whilst it's live. Um, so you can choose to watch me here. And I will be doing some Steam Key giveaways uh, to celebrate the launch. I may do some giveaways on Twitter, um, but I'll definitely be doing some on the stream on Friday. So yeah, there you go. Let's go fight a spider. What are you, sir? Oh, hello? Oh no, just in rags. I thought for a second she was wearing, um, what is it called? The early game encumbrance armor, which is what, if you, they're wearing that, then it means they're named. Sir, I'm super rusty. Could you bear with me? Thank you. Who else is there? Bum, 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 dead, bum, bum, another dead bum. one, daddy, yeah. deadified, two more dead, the dead from the neck up, dead from the neck down, take my favourite spooder bashing equipment. Dun, 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 dun. The Bector Corbin and the Baltius Razor that I'm using, um, you get them so frequently uh, from legendary chests and their agility, like weapons, hammer and like two-handed sword. Um, then I don't mind just using them all the time. There are some specific legendaries that you have to get from specific bosses, like in the Unnamed City, things like that, where they have, um, where, where it feels like more of a chore to go to, to, like, harvest, uh, what is the word? Uh, grind? Farm? I guess? Um, 
that I would be less like willing to use them as like daily drivers. Do you know what I mean? So I rolled in my defense. And I just gotta get my muscle memory reminded. Because I'm i I'm so rusty. There we go. Bum, bum, bum. I'm not gonna harvest you because I just, Am I gonna harvest you? I guess I am because I want the what is it called? I don't have any harvesting tools. I'm not here for like I just want the key really. Uh what is it called? Knife. Bum ba dum bum. Dun da dun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go, skeleton key. Sweet. Onwards. Of course. <laughs> Have I even been on the horse yet, peeps? I'm just running around with my horse in tow. Do you know what I mean? This is the way it's supposed to be. The horse is really just my carry friend oh. It's not there for it to whack as a mount, you know. Kind of reacquaint myself with full damage. The other ghost of the spider boss visits Siri's base and makes everything we grow. I, I, at one point, you used to be able to kite uh, bosses really far, didn't you? And I had a base just like very close to where our pyramid is. And I remember the spider would wander over there and like try and kill my friendos. Um, it doesn't do that anymore. But yeah, I remember when I first started playing, you were like new players would. Um, would just kite bosses uh, around and they would kite them to your base so that your your thralls could kill them and then they could get like a bit of a boost. But unfortunately, people's thralls just kept dying. So um, they they stopped that. So now they're on like a tighter leash. But it was kind of funny because you could just see like a world boss just wandering around somewhere. Kind of golden days, really. I, I have a lot of like um, nostalgia for the, like, the old days. You know what I mean? I guess a lot of us do probably. Uh, I'm like, this and I wouldn't remember how to fight at all. Yeah, I'm like super rusty right now. General Silver was absolutely wiped out for spawn block. Fair enough, but he's been there ages and built a lot. I know it's fair, but still feel bad for him. Yeah. Sparrow, thank you for three months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Um, so speaking of servers, so we have had some developments on our community server um, recently. Very, very recently. We've had a problem since I launched it like a year and a half ago or whatever. We never had a working decay timer. I need some water. Um, someone's gonna be like, "Oh my god, she's cheek!" <laughs> I haven't had that for such a long time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel almost nostalgic for it. I have snackies, don't I? I don't need anything else. Here we go. Let's drink some water. This is a survival game. Were you not playing survival? We're just warming up here, people. Chill out, okay? Anna arguing with people who aren't there. There we go. Let me just eat some snacks, get myself acquainted, situated. Um, so yeah, we never had a working decay time on our server and thankfully some bright spark at Nichado has finally fixed it, thank goodness. Um, so now we our server age ticks on correctly and uh, we have a working decay timer. So the decay time on our server is currently seven days, which we, I only implemented as a test for them at one point. Um, I will be returning it to 10 days, but if you haven't been on um, for the last few days, know that the server is ticking on in time. So if you have a base there that you wish to refresh, make sure you log onto the server, make sure you visit it. Um, so there's that. So the, the decay time is working right now. Um, it's And I will change it back to 10 days because you should be able to freaking log on once a week if you have to go away somewhere or something. You should be like, oh, I can just log on every Friday or every Thursday or whatever. Um, you know, seven days is just not right. Um, what else was I going to tell you? So in addition to that, we, we did talk about whilst the decay timers weren't working, we discussed having a regular wipe on that server because it concerns me that the, the, for new players coming onto the server, um, the, the server is very, very well built up. All the best kind of locations, quote unquote, best locations have been built on. 
and you know if you join the server it's like okay where can i f squeeze in right i mean it's still a big world but people tend to kind of cluster together and that kind of thing um while we had no decay timer that was kind of even more important because i was having to manually go on and remove bases when people were inactive which was a pain in the butt i don't unfortunately I don't have to deal with that now thank goodness i cannot tell you i could cry i'm so happy um but i do still think doing a regular wipe of the server um, would benefit us as a community, have a, like a clean slate and a fresh opportunity to build something majestic. Um, and also just means that people don't kind of like have four or five bases, they refresh regularly and they don't play on the server. They're just keeping the, the, the decay times ready. Um, so I, we have discussed it and the agreement was we would do it at the, at the at just before each new age. So you should have about a year of no wipes, right? So you can play on the server, play each chapter, you know, play through like a full story, um, you know, uh, build stuff, build whatever you want to, you know, develop, you know, gather thralls and stuff. And then at the end of every age, uh, we have a fresh wipe of the server. Um, I do want to know your feedback about that. We have a lot, had a lot of talk about it on the Discord, the pros and cons of each thing. We talked about wiping more frequently, which I wouldn't really be in favour of because I don't want people to... Um, you know, I think each chapter is just too frequent, really, because people want to kind of get cosy and stuff. Um, but I do want to know your feedback. And it, it just seemed to be, it was a lot more popular of an idea than I thought it was going to be. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So at the end of chapter four, Age of War, we're going to have a wipe of our community server. And then thereafter, every end of, at the end of every age, every chapter four, after the end of it, uh, every chapter four, we're going to have a full server wipe. And that means my, like, base as well. Everything's going to go. Um, so there you go. Bit of, bit of server news for you. I've been monologuing. Thank you. And it's Boardwalk and Park Place of Permacan. <laughs> I will probably um, reserve my own current plot. Because I think it's nice that it's, like, looking out over Sapamaru. Um, I will build something new each time. But I probably will reserve that spot because... It's my server and I may as well have some perks. Um, and that's about it, really. Oh, hello. <laughs> She's not turning properly. This hopefully is going to be resolved very soon. Um, next chapter. Yep. Dun, da, 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 dun, da, dun. I'm so excited, people. I'm, I, I, I think it is such a good idea sometimes just to have a break from, from things, even if you love them. Um, and, uh, you know, I've had such a big break in, like, February and a huge break from Conan. So I'm super excited to get back to it. Very hyped. Lots of content coming. Full playthrough. I want to do a full playthrough. I might restart the solo series. I don't know. Am I going to do the solo series? Am I just going to do it like a beginner series? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided fully yet. Um, but I'm super hyped to get back into it. It's my home, this game, you know. Hello, Louitor. Hello, hello. How are you doing? How's your day going? Conan, indeed. Conan, Conan. I haven't had much time on YouTube lately. Are you still doing the storytelling? So the only problem with the ASMR storytelling sort of stuff, I very much love doing that. It's not difficult for me to record. It doesn't take me a huge amount of time. And I feel like I'm really, if I may sound a bit wanky, I feel like I'm giving something like I don't really benefit from apart from like, it feels like a nice thing to do for the community, right? For the people, for the few people who like it, like something, a bedtime story to fall asleep to, basically. Um, the only problem with it is finding things. Why did they not go in there with me? That was weird. Uh, finding things to read that one, people want to listen to, um, and two, uh, is in the public domain because there are certain things, like most books, you just can't read and publish, like it's counts as publishing. On your youtube channel um so i did do god to the north which is the first conan exiles um like short story from a, a collection of stories that was in a magazine which i was able to publish um because it was just like it, it was in public domain but there's a lot of stuff that isn't and i don't want to piss off funcom right um or be you know in any way disrespectful to them so i'm not i, I was going to do that whole series i did ask them and they referred me to a third party who haven't come back to me so rather than kind of get myself into a sticky situation um i have like paused the concept of doing the conan stuff i think the conan stuff would be perfect because a lot of people i feel like would really like to know more about the law 
I enjoyed reading it and stuff and you know um, but if you have any suggestions of anything you want me to like read it has to be in the public domain um, then I will do so um, I did also think about at one point putting that onto another channel um, but I don't particularly want to have multiple YouTube channels if I can avoid it because I feel like it's sort of uh, stunts your growth a little bit do you know what I mean and an ASMR suggestion phone book oh that's very sweet uh, it have indeed been a day really hoping they pull out all the stops in the next chapter yeah hopefully um, anyone else noticed that she's mopping the floor while chatting us up <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'm just working on my muscle memory. It's been a minute since I played. Uh, Funcom have announced uh, the dev stream for Chapter 4 is on Friday this week. And I'll be live streaming, co-streaming it on my Twitch and YouTube channels. 11am e uh, Eastern Time, East Coast US. Um, and 4pm UK time. Same time. Where's Nelson? Nelson has been beaten and is in a corner, Rico. Do you know what I mean? Got eaten by the sun to him. Frickin' Nelson. Oh my god. Yeah. It's so good to be back in the Exiled Lands, I have to say. Uh, I haven't checked those story times out, but sounds awesome. Never experienced any kind of media. So there's like two Arnold movies. Yeah, I've got two story time things on my YouTube channel. One of them is like a very short Night Before Christmas like poem, which I did for Christmas, like a special thing. And then the second one is Gods of the North, which is one of the uh, Robert E. Howard Conan Exiles um stories basically and i really wanted to do that full collection of stories but i i it's just you know i could do it and put it on like i could just put it so it's not like published somewhere it's just kind of privately published or something but i don't know i have to like justify doing things you know nelson is lying in a cart somewhere yes i would i do consider the um the the people the followers in nightingale to be kind of um what do you call them? Carties, right? Because they just carry stuff around. I'm not going to kill the babies, chat. I would never swipe at one of these little cute little creatures. I'm just such a peaceful lady. Better hurry up and finish the battle pass. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you'll still have time, obviously, because it's going to be the beta first and then it'll be... Um, then it'll be like, you know, it'll be like at least a few weeks before um, the main version, chapter four, comes out. So you've still got time. I love the night before Christmas. I have to throw those in my watch list. Uh, the, the night before Christmas, it was. Night before Christmas and then Gods of the North, yeah. Um, before the end of the day, Anna will recruit the AC. The arena champion used the mod to change her to a him and re <laughs> rename him Nelson. And then just beat him up. Yes. You've got a great you've got a great relationship with Funcom. I yeah, I yeah. I hope I hope so. I think so. Um where am I gonna go? Let's go this way. Let's go into the executioner's place. Bum ba dum ba dum bum ba da dum. Do do tier tier four cart people. That's it. Yeah. Oh, the people in Nightingale really need a lot of work, don't they? They did drop an update today. I don't know if you've noticed. There was an update to a bunch of stuff, including how to. This is Nightingale. Including how to change your server location um, in the character sort of screen. I haven't opened it yet. I will do it off stream later um, and just check if I can switch because I was on 130 ping which means I was on an NA server which is not great for shooting games you know um, all right people I'm here to just murder you in a way that makes me kind of happy on a scene we're gonna go to the galleon I think experience says otherwise oh what about um you're talking about chapter four uh, I should do night Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, I would I, I would love to do a bunch of stuff, honestly. I do, I kind of like, I, it feels very cosy to record that stuff. It isn't too difficult to do. And the only thing as well is like the background stuff. I kind of need to subscribe to something to be able to use like, like stock um, background like images and things. That's another thing, it is a cost as well. Um, but I do, I do really like doing it. And I feel, because I like, ASMR to like fall asleep to it has been a godsend to me recently like in the last couple of years or well, last six months I guess um so it's kind of nice just to like put something back in the pot for people do you know what I mean um so and, and you know you can really can listen to it any time of day can't you really so it doesn't have to be to fall asleep to all right then 
would love to get my frames up. Um, I went through a phase where my frames were like amazing uh, since I got the new graphics card. But I think really my biggest problem with this game um, is that my CPU is a bottleneck and I'm streaming. Um, so... Dun, 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 dun. I'm not even looting these bodies, I'm just murdering everybody. Let's go kill some skeletons. Um, let's go in this entrance. Bum, bum, bum. Doo, doo, doo. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. doo, doo. Dun, 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 dun. I did toy around with some strength builds, and I think they're perfectly viable. But I don't think anything will beat the feeling of the agility builds now. The fact that I can use strength, like traditionally strength-based weapons, with an agility build, and I can boing around quickly and run fast. And Are you in textures, my dude? Hello? I think there's someone in textures there. Um, so yeah, I hope they don't change that. I do really enjoy like agility stuff. I would really like an agility war axe, one-handed war axe, or just more one-handed agility weapons. Um, it does seem kind of strange that there aren't more one-handed agility weapons. Um, but I love my Bector Corbin and my Baltius Razor. Hi there, sir. I have missed killing you. Sir. If I get stun locked and die here, look at that glutton for punishment doing work. There you go. If we die, we go down fighting. Da -da. Someone attacking my horsey. Get off my horsey. I just realised he's called Knight and he's wearing like a Knight Rider kind of uh, saddle, which is kind of funny. Am I getting stuck in you? Yeah, if you've still been playing Conan while all these new games are out, what have you been doing? Have you been building? Have you been, like, have you been having a good time? I'm going to leave that. I'll take the fragment. We've already got one of those in this world. Let's take coins for this, I guess. Can't leave the money behind, can we? Um, and mesh spider, I know. Mindless NPC deleting. Yeah, exactly. You can tell Anna's in nightingale mode, running, jumping, and leaving her mount behind. <laughs> I yes. Well, do I ever use my mount? It's such a meme, isn't it? I just like I just like to run around, and you know, I find it more satisfying than riding the horse. I find the stopping to get on the horse to be such a pain in the butt. I just like, I just rather run. I want the horse to carry my things so I can just eat, you know. Um, you were game game night girl, very poor of you, they didn't recommend it. Yes. Mm. Yes. I think Nightingale has some issues, right? I think um, I think it's a very ambitious game. I think it's very imaginative. I think the story is cool, the worlds are cool, um, the possibilities, you know, and I think they had really good intentions. I just think um, they've got to, and they did get some a lot of feedback from survival game players um, who were all, we were all very, very excited and, you know, about it. But I think there were a lot of things that you just have to have working as a survival game now because you know people who play survival games expect certain quality of life things just as standard now and after playing pal world where you have craft room containers it, like right out the gate um and things like that it just certain things in nightingale just feel too clunky too kind of like um too slow um you know and the the eight you know followers are always going to be a work in progress aren't they right you know so 
Yes, I think it's great. I think it's going to be an amazing game. I think it's obviously still an early access. Um, they are very, they do listen to people. They immediately, as soon as they realise people were so het up about the lack of offline mode, they have put that in, like, you know, they've announced that they're going to be giving us that. Um, because I think it's important in this day and age that we feel like we own our games and we can play it offline. Because if they stop supporting the game, we want to be able to play it, don't we? You know? You know, otherwise, what have you done? You're just renting a game instead of buying it. Um, swap the, drop the horse with a tier, tier 4 Tiefen, yeah. I would like to get a good Tiefen in Palo Alto City. Yeah. We're eating well, though, aren't we, for survival games? You know, you you got to... It's such a great time to like survival games. There's so many new ones out. First you were afraid, then you were petrified, but you'll survive. Okay, thriller. To the corner for trying to get a song in my head. Here is an interesting fact. The koi fish always travel in groups of four. If attacked, koi A, B and C will scatter, leaving behind the decoy. Oh, God. Okay, to the corner. I can't see who that was yet. Kalenjos to the corner. That's an outrageously terrible joke. Yes. Oh, God. Shameful, shameful jokes. Cookies. No cookies in the corner. There will be no cookies. Steam, Steam equals renting games. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, I missed a message. Reading out some more suggestions. Anything Conan, including authors. Hand of the Baskervilles by Anna, anyone? Yeah, I mean, right in the Discord. I'll forget otherwise, but... Um, you know, I I would like, I really want to do that. I would like to release one of those like once a week or something, you know. The Adventures of Horse and Carty and Nightmare in three acts. Edgy ASMR, yes. Anna goes around beating up the cart in Valheim. That would be an interesting ASMR. <laughs> yes. Um, Rosie Pace Solo tried storming that Newcastle siege a few times and kept losing my level 20 thralls. Yeah, it's better to do it solo, or was for me. Got frustrated and modded the game to increase my own thralls. Cap to 300, increase follow count to 6. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could do that with better thralls. Uh, Nightingale mechanics are about as aut aut authentically archaic as its time period. That's a fair comment, actually. Um, when is Chapter 4? Haven't leveled up my battle pass yet. The beta will be imminent. The developer... Uh, announcement stream is on Friday and I will be live streaming uh, co-streaming it here on my Twitch channel and on my YouTube channel uh, also here because I'm streaming on both right now uh, if you're watching on YouTube by the way make sure you head over to Twitch because we've got drops over here if you haven't picked them up yet so because just a few days left of those it's a Yamatai screen yes GOG for the win right is that better Peter I have to say I've d anybody else like this I forget that anything other than Steam exists. I mean, apart from obviously consoles and whatnot, or like hard copies. But if I if I don't have it on Steam, I forget I own it. Anyone else like that? Is there a date for Chapter Four? And would the current Battle Pass be affected? I haven't really leveled up mine. Yes, it will. Um, and no, there isn't yet an announced date for Chapter Four's release. But the dev stream is on Friday this week, so expect a beta period and expect it to follow a certain period of time after the beta. Um, so you've got some time now to level your Battle Pass, basically. I would argue subscribing equals renting games. Hmm. Yes. Um, yes. And the drop is for a Yamatai screen. What is it called? What do you call it? Partition thingy. Do do. Da, 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 bum. Do do do. Hello, sir. Do 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 do. Am I going to lower my FOV? It feels very high. I'm like, it's so weird to actually think this is a high FOV. I feel kind of tiny, like, in the world. Kind of strange. She was being coy. Anybody who's made a joke about koi fish since that uh, TTS, get to the corner, people. Go on, on, off you go. Make your way. Thank you for your submissions. Off you go. Bad jokes will be punished. <laughs> uh. da 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 yeah, but I'm very much looking forward to like a new playthrough, a uh, new build. Uh, presumably, there will be new building pieces in the next chapter. 
Um, so I will want to do like a f complete fresh start. So I might do that on single player and keep this server just as it is. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, it depends because I kind of want... The only reason really to keep this server as it is is because I've built a bunch of stuff. And I like having a big sort of tavern. Um, both taverns. I've got a Yamatai tavern. I've got the... Uh, like the uh, Acer? Acer Tavern, I guess you could call it. Um, Nordheimer kind of tavern. Um, so I kind of want to keep those, really, uh, for a bit. And the pyramid. I kind of like the pyramid. But I guess when I run out of, like, build space, I'll either delete a building or I guess maybe we'll start afresh just for, like, a... But it's important for me to have, like, a level 60 world so that I can jump on and make videos and stuff like that. Um and test things uh, otherwise if i'm kind of um if i'm doing a full playthrough and i don't have a like a, a, a mature world where i'm like level 60 have a bunch of stuff it's kind of difficult to just make content as well you know so we do not fight near the edge of the galleon it is a rule only bad things come from that your death will happen either way but you know Do you have any predictions for the next chapter, people? What are you expecting? Have you got any guesses for what the next age is going to be? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be as good as sorcery? Can anything be as good as sorcery? It was such a big bang, wasn't it, of a content release? What are you? What are you? What's on your wish list? Yamator tool and chairs cushion still not working. That's right, the cushion is still not working. I just tested that earlier today. Um, oh, we got a name sorcerer. Um, but I believe that's maybe coming in the next chapter? Question mark. I, I believe they said that they're going to change it, haven't they? Piracy, yes, indeed. We're just going around modifying everybody. As a graduation, can't stay for the stream. Looking forward to the vote. All right, lovely, no problem. The age of cheese. Oh, the butt of cheese is really a bad combination of words, but spots. The age of cheese would be pretty damn good. Love me a bit of cheese. What is your favourite cheese? <laughs> Whenever I used to play Valheim, we spent a lot of time talking about if you could eat anything right now, what would you eat? We talked about food so much. I guess I was so snacky when I was playing that game. Um hope the reverse combat change of this chapter yeah that would be really good wouldn't it that would be nice i feel like it, I, I don't think the thing is i do feel like in some some ways i live in an echo chamber and you know i'm like well everybody seems to agree that the combat was awful like the change was awful um but i do think they do get other feedback as well um so but yes my wish would be that it chapter two was like a oh it was just like oh it's just good it was so satisfying. It felt really nice. Um, and I realised it raised, it causes some issues for PvP, didn't it? Because people were like poke, poke roll spamming and stuff like that. Turning and poking and stuff like that. Um, which obviously didn't affect me in PvE. Um, so I do, you know, I realise I have to balance things for PvE and PvP. But um, Chapter 2 just felt so good. I loved it so much. Um, so if, I, if we could have it back to that, that would be brilliant you know yep um age of thralls gonna make them useful mm. cotton candy and dancing bears those are your priorities are they Kristen? love that would love if they did a P ps5 mode that granted the same cosmetic and graphical options as your pc i was so bummed out i was saying found we had a tenth of the face hair any etc options um so the reason i have lots of options is uh, for cosmetic is because of improved quality of life mod that is not because i'm playing on pc unless something has changed and they have implemented some of those extras but the all the different choices that i have on this game Hello there. are because of improved quality of life mod which is bloody wonderful i would love to see them implemented into the base game in fact the modders have done a fantastic job of really completing parts of the game that I feel would the game would really benefit from being added. And I feel like if they could add anything over the next kind of year or so, if they could start implementing those mods into the game, um, 
I think that would be fantastic. They already have done with a bunch of things, like some things like fashionists and stuff like that. Um, but there are certain things like cosmetic things that I feel like if you play on console, if you like to play on uh, official servers, you can't take advantage of, um, you know. So I think that would be brilliant, definitely. <clears throat> Blueprint saving a building, Funko talked about in June, would be nice to have in any game. Absolutely. I, I imagine. So there must be a way to do that with a mod. Does anybody know of a mod where you can copy um, your build and paste it somewhere else? Um, I know they did that with a Stygian Fortress, obviously. They, like, built it and then they pasted it into the world. Um, their, their master builder did that. Um, hello, Lamplighter. Oh, you're a tall lady. What are you? Hello? An edge smith. I don't have an edge smith. I think you're probably going to die, my, my friend. That is the one who gives us extra armor pen, isn't it? Can I, like, take your weapon? Shit. Can I give you... Where's my horse? She's gonna die. Ooh, a horse. Don't swear. It's true. I swear. Listen, I'm just not familiar with the swear words, and I really should, would, would keep bringing it up, people. Come on now. Come here, horsey. Sometimes you're like super imaginative, people. Right. Can I give you. Coup de grass. And I'll use Seth's truncheon. So she shouldn't take any damage at all from this. Let's see if it's up working. Frame situation is suboptimal, isn't it? So she's on 90. Still on 90. Yeah, she's not taking any damage. Good, 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 good. Oh, I forgot my friend is on attack nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Behaviour, engagement, tackle enemies. Okay, get in there, love. So this El Elara, she got bored and ran off. She's like, screw you all. She's gaining health, that's good. I think my horse has my bindings, actually. Do you know what? It's funny. I kind of forget that the purple orbs exist as well. Where's the Where's the woman? She's all the way over there. Wait, he's attacking her. Why is the sorcerer attacking her? Squirrel? When did that happen? Hello? When did that start being a problem? <laughs> did you see that? He was poking her. There we go. All right. Let's get let's get our bindings. That is that is weird. We got an edge smith anyway. I probably won't use it, but it's good to have like a you know, the full complement of things. Shall I ride the horse? What do you think? Um, do I have a wheel around here? I think I do. Uh, you can have coup de grass, actually, because you won't kill anything that's named. All right. Wi riding across here is not the smartest move, is it, with these frames? Okay. I can manage. I'm a pro gamer. It's fine. Everything's fine. I wasn't worried. It's fine. <laughs> Just extra careful. Double agent. Tip or double agent. Uh, games you pay for that you can only pluck up game files without, without the internet. You can't do anything. GOG is better. At least you can download the game and save it to play. Ah, I see. Okay. I didn't know that. That's good to know. Didn't I have a wheel here? You... Is that on the other side? Yeah, it's on the other side. I thought so. Stop poking me. 
been on, I've been fortunate enough to find a couple of love taps, such a great bunking device. You usually toss a couple of gloves out, bunk in the cloud of sleepiness. I used to, the love tap used to be really good before Seth Trenchum was a thing. I used to always use that. It was a, an obsession. Um, snacks we need. She doesn't have any healing foods. I just realised. She has some... Hmm. I guess I can give her that, mayhaps. There we go. I have a... What's it called? Taming on, like, super fast, because I have the patience of a small gnat. All right, lady, you can carry some things. You can just snack on pork rinds. How do you feel about that? Sweet. Uh, should we give you back your good weapon? You're still buffed. You are now, at least. Nice. Onwards on the modification tour. Seth Trench and better for concussive damage. It is very, very good, yes. Yep, yep, yep. It's also had a grudge against the pirates. I, it was so weird. Has anyone had that happen? It was weird. I wonder if it's because we started, like, knocking them out and it was just confused. Mod in Ark is called Blueprint Maker. Mmm, there's one in Ark. Age of War was great for the perjury work. You don't need the bases everywhere to get what you want. Yeah, I have... I miss the old purges. I'm going to go out on a limb and say I like... I really liked the old purges, you know. Age of Feats, hello Jason. You're allowed to pick your toppings and current himself delivers within 20 minutes. That is the message of someone who's snacky. I take it you're hungry right now. Fortune's still unbalanced, you need to have three to four plays already without cheering it. Yeah, I managed to solo it. Um, yes. Um, without any, like, friendos and stuff. But it, it took... It was an effort, you know what I mean? Cult building from June would be appreciated in Conan. I think the engine might be holding the back as Unreal Engine 4 and June is Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, if they made Unreal Engine this game into Unreal Engine 5, just think how long it could be it could it could be it could thrive, you know, it could be supported. That's what I that's why I really want the upgrade. Not just because immediately it would be kind of better or the lighting would be better or whatever. Um I just feel like it would give the game a lot more longevity, you know? And it would show that they're like invested in it long term. I don't know. To me, anyway. A new build set with, with less than 20 pieces for 1,200 coins. Yeah. I know. I agree. The old, uh, um, the old DLC system was sweet. I mean, there were pros and cons to it, obviously, weren't there? Because people would start playing the game. Um, they would play. They would build with the new stuff. Uh, they would, you know, what, what's the word? They would play the new content. Um, and then they would stop playing and then servers would go dead again, wouldn't they? Um, so in some ways what they've done, you know, certainly with the regular updates, I, I really love all the new content. I think all the, the stuff looks great. I think it's way too overpriced. I think if you, you should either be able to um, grind the battle pass if you wanted to, or you should be able to buy it outright without remortgaging your house. You know, or selling your cat or something for meat. Do you know what I'm saying? My cat's like, Row. um, you know, it just needs to be a little bit more accessible because some people can't necessarily always play as much as they can sometimes, and they want all the things because they love this game. This is their main game, and they want their collectors. So, hi, Kit Cat. How you doing? Haven't killed you for a while. I do like the Vector Corbin for bosses. What are you doing down there, bud? Two 
I love the music. Da -da. No chance of porting Conan to Unreal Engine 5 when they move. When they fully move into June survival, they may start working Conan Exiles 2 on Unreal Engine 5. I mean, I would be happy with a sequel. Um, if that's better for them, you know, that would be good. How many of you would prefer Type 1 if you just want Conan Exiles 1 to be ported to Unreal Engine 5? Type 2 if you want a Conan Exiles 2? I would be happy with either of those things. Um, I don't necessarily want to split the player base. That's the only thing. Um, either way, I think we need Unreal Engine 5. You know, it needs some love. Um, I've been interested in June, but I can't see me dropping Conan for it. Yeah, definitely. The thing that um, the thing that matters to me is I want biome variety. You know, um, I, I don't want just sand everywhere. So I want to make sure that there's like um different biomes i want the world to feel varied and interesting uh, i want the gameplay to be varied and interesting combat i want you know they've done it you know let's set, put aside the recent problems with combat i love the combat in this game I, I find it very satisfying you know um you know as long as they sort out the kind of recent problems we've had with the combat then i love this and i hope that the combat in june feels as good as that um, lots of ones. XL2. Uh, new map in Unreal Engine 5 for sure. Hmm. I have a dream of building an army of level 20 house cats and seeing what happens in the low level purge. They're just going to meow at the purge and just annoy them to death. That's what my cat would do. She would just sass them. You know, one but expand the map. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Just a bigger map. Yep. Unreal Engine 5, expand the map, give us more dungeons, um, that kind of thing. That'd be kind of cool. I feel like this map feels like my home, you know? I feel very, like, um, sentimental about this map, you know? I like playing Sipta, but I always want to come back to this map. I'd love to see more autom automaton automation development, like Pal Pal's Mining View, etc. Yeah, absolutely. I think... I think a lot of us playing Pal World were like, cool, this would be good in Conan, this would be good in Conan, you know. Um, I also would really like a glider. I know we have the bats, screw you bats, because they like to drop you. <laughs> but I would like a glider, it'd be kind of cool. Um, want them to say, screw established IP and just give us a fantasy game, do you? Do you have a particular fantasy game in mind, or you just want something completely new? You want the same kind of combat feel. You want it to feel like Conan, but like more fantasy elements. Ooh. I want armor specific to their clan and biome. Northern clans should again have cold environment buffs. I really miss the way temperature used to work. And I miss... I miss epic flawless um, armors. I miss the fact that if you, if you went... If you... Armor was epic flawless... Um, that it would give you two protection for cold or two protection for heat. And if you wore the full set, especially if you wore like a piece of the Godbreaker or Godbreaker Chilled, you would be perfect temperature in like the volcano or the Temple of Frost. I think the way that the temperature system, I don't know how they got to where we are right now, but it is weird and it's kind of confusing and messy. The symbols on the armor don't really help you. Um, you know, if you go to your stats page, it, it, it kind of helps you a bit here because you can see there's a big variety. But when you equip a piece of armor, it just doesn't tell you what, you know, what you're getting. Never mind the fact that it doesn't tell you until you've crafted something, um, you know. So, you know, I think the temperature stuff really needs to be reworked because what we had in the past was way better than what we have now. Um, you know. And to new players, it's just super confusing. I mean, it's confusing to me, and I've been playing this game for a long time. But it doesn't make any sense the way it is. Um, I definitely think Conan when I'm think of Conan when I'm playing other games. Yeah, me too. Uh, this is like, you know, the game. I guess I compare things to. I mean, I do compare things to Valheim as well, obviously, because some games have a lot of similarities to Valheim, and I have a lot of time in that game as well. Not anywhere near as much as Conan, but. I played a lot of Alheim. Uh, 
Columns with guns. No. Columns with guns. I don't think I would add guns to this game. I like the... I like, you know... There's... I want it to feel like, you know, melee and, and, and arrows. Uh, bow and arrow. I like that. I think it's good. Fun watching... Fun watching eating and moidering. Ah, oh, it's fun for me too. I'm having a great time. Uh, have you ever seen the dude uh, add on to Microsoft Flight Simulator? A YouTuber called Tom of Graphic played it the other day and wrote it was gorgeous. Have you seen the dude add on? What is a dude add on to that? Dare I ask? Um, I have not heard of that. Da -da -da. Do, do, do. The temperature is easy. The skimpier the outfit, the more appropriate it is for the snow. Just look at a wild Dylan's here. That's factual. If you're topless in this game, you are really as armoured as you could possibly get. Absolutely. Delincia just doesn't need armour. She's just wearing it just because, you know, it distracts people too much, obviously. Uh, why did I... Why did I just get... Did you get buttified by Buttspot? Buttspot is a turd bullet. Can't control him. Meant June. Uh, you meant June for what? The butted thing? Oh, oh, I see for my... Oh, I see June. The June add-on. Okay, I saw dude. He wrote dude. June add-on to my Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, so does it just basically give you the terrain uh, for for June in that simulator? Is that what you mean? Hope they make magic better in Conan. Yeah, I just... The Age of Sorcery chapter one was so freaking magical. Excuse the like choice of word. It was such a like big bank, uh, such a great like content update. So much felt different. Um, it's been really hard in the Age of War to kind of get that excited about anything. You know, they changed the purge. Obviously, there's lots of things in the game they want to kind of, you know, improve and everything. But they have taken away. Um, it feels like it's, they've taken away a lot as they've given us new things. Um, and it's kind of pissed off a lot of people, you know, like the legendary changes, which I'm kind of on board with, um, you know, because they've made it easier to get legendaries. Legendaries took way too long to get specific ones in the Unnamed City, particularly. Um, but like the lack of repairs on every, you know, I feel like the repairs, they could soften that a little bit. Um, I don't want to lose durability when I repair things ever. If I'm repairing it, I don't want to lose durability. Um, it just annoys me because it just means I don't use repair kits and things. Um, yeah. Oh. Corner. What did I say? Did I say something? Um, age of Age of Chavs. Just empty scope. Are you all right, mate? I'll bloody know you. <laughs> I think that's a niche comment. Not many people here would would uh, understand, but. That would be very funny. You could have like a chav mod or something. Everyone's wearing tracksuits. Stripes down the sides. Uh, the dude add-on is a rug. It really brings the room together. <laughs> oh my god. And the mighty combat changes. It's flying and ornithopter looks incredible. Really? That sounds wonderful. Da -da -dum. Do -do -do. When in Age of War each chapter came up broken. Yeah, Age of War has been a bit of a mess, hasn't it? It's been like, oh god, what's happening now kind of thing. Um but it, I, yeah, I mean, I guess one of the reasons maybe they have so many chapters now is to kind of give them time to fix the things that don't work. Um, yeah. It just thought it was so magical. Oh, I see. Yeah. And it'd be knife to myself. Absolutely. Um, broken is the fun con way, though. Don't want to ruin the player experience with bug free content. Yeah, I did have said many times to friends in the past, welcome to Conan, you know, like, you know, it's like, oh, this doesn't work or this is, you know, it's always been that way because it was, you know, written in a hurry, wasn't it? And it's kind of spaghetti code and messy and whatnot. Um, 
so there is some charm to that if you love the game and you've been playing it for a long time um but you know things that stop you from being able to play things that make your thralls disappear those kinds of like mistakes and problems um big changes to kind of combat that mean mean that playing just doesn't feel like the same game anymore it doesn't feel fun i feel like that kind of thing is just like that's not good is it i can cope with some like minor bugs that you know give it character you know although i do think maybe that puts new players off right because le i think learning the bugs is like part of learning the game in this game isn't it okay we've got the boss here we might get the doom or the more of the hyena let's fight him hi sir should I use my heart's blood daggers on you? Oh, they're so good. Oh, they're so good. Oh, we got the more of the hyena. Beautiful. Sweet, legendary cleaver. They're so good. Dun, 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 dun. Hi there, sir. Dun 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 Conan is the least broken game. I play at the moment. Is it? What else are you playing that's more broken than Conan Exiles? And is it Nightingale? <laughs> Bless them. Bless them. It'll it'll get it'll I, I believe Nightingale was gonna be amazing in the future, you know. They're just I just think it's a fantastic game. It just needs some like streamlining of a lot of like processes and things uh how much is the only reason i haven't touched the game in ages yeah that's it so if the thing that you find very satisfying like i took a two month break from the game the thing that i find very satisfying is the combat i just you know i can run around and just murder things like i'm doing now and it just makes me happy you know what i mean in a very warm cozy kind of wholesome way i just want to kill and um if that doesn't feel fun then you know, that's really, like, the main mechanic I like. I do like the building as well. I can still build, obviously, but my dopamine really, like, wants me to fight stuff a lot. Something more broken than cunning me. Oh, bless you. Sending you a hug. Goodness me. Um, can't wait for Soul Mask. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Soul Mask as well. I've played some, obviously. There's a couple of videos on my YouTube channel. Played, like, um, on the preview. Um, didn't play as much as some other people. Um, and I did some videos about my thoughts on it. There's some frustrations and stuff. But I think it's got a lot of promise. Um, your opinion on Indiana Jones 5. You talk about the movie. I actually haven't seen it yet, believe it or not. I feel like it's something we could do for movie night. Uh, is it is it out on streaming services yet? When it is, we'll do a movie night for it. Um, I'm very excited about the new Indiana Jones game. I have been waiting for that literally my whole life. Wholesome murder. Yeah, murder is just so wholesome. Absolutely. Very nice. They fixed the clunky animation. Uh, I've been in Conan since day one. It didn't start. It didn't start unbroken. Yeah. I mean, I didn't play it when it was in early access. I played it when it came out um, as a free game for PlayStation. And ever since I was addicted to it, I started playing with friends. I never would have tried it if my friends weren't like, hey, you want to let's we're playing this game today. I was like, fine, let me download it. I had no intention. I would never have like tried it, and I freaking fell in love with it. And my friends got bored of it, and I look at her; she can't turn around. Um. Uh, yes. How do you join the community server? I'm kind of new. Join the Discord. Wait, wait. I didn't mean to click raid. Um. Sandstorm, indeed. Da da da. Yeah, join the Discord, go to the Conan channel, look at the pin messages, you can join it. How did I... How do I... Squirrel. I can't delete my own message? Okay, fine. And I don't think the mods can either. Oh well. There's no rate. Let's just use my stream deck. Sandstorm and DD. The Sand Impressions in New Games is a lot better. Um, this is... So this is on the highest um, graphic settings, I think. We changed it around. I think it's... It might be texture quality. Nope, it's not texture quality. Um, what was it? Effects? Uh, 
yeah, effects. So, yeah. It gives you like a really deep kind of like marking when you walk in the in the sand, basically. Cinematic. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? The one thing I noticed when I switched from console to PC was that your armor looks wet in the rain. Uh, and the water, I mean, obviously, like, there are some other kind of textural things and whatever, and the frames and things like that. But you, your armor looks wet in the rain, which I find to be, like, much more immersive. And also the water, like, um, rivers and things just looked more realistic. Um, shall we ride the horse for a minute? Just to kind of, you know... Why not? I haven't had a crash since you started. You've got, you've got to simulate one for all the Nightingale fans. Yes, let's just pretend the game has crashed multiple times, of loading in and out of places. Um, played from early access day one, and always something broken with new updates. Old bugs keep coming back on top of the new one. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yep. It's a fun, a fun situation. Hello, Paolo. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Guess I'm. Are you watching me from your PC? I'm so excited. Paolo just got a new CPU for a PC he's been building. Is it all fixed and ready? Have you played anything yet? So excited for you. Doing, doing, doing. It looked very fancy on the Discord. Very, uh, uh, what is it, RGB. Looked very good. Da -da -da, da -da -da. This is how the horse likes to be ridden. Da -da -da -da. Don't go reporting me. Da -da -dun -dun, da -da -dun. Not you watching from Notre Dame. Yes. Wait, Notre Dame. Notre Dame. I can only I can quote unquote do an American accent if I like deepen my voice. I don't know why. I don't have an explanation. Notre Dame. I can't go like Notre Dame. <laughs> okay, apparently I can. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Doo -doo. Let's go to Sep, shall we? Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. bum, bum, bum. Anna does a great American derp. Yeah, I can only do derp. It's just like if I do a boy's voice, a man's voice, I can I can do like cartoon. Oh my god! I can't wait. I can't even do it unless I'm like angry. Um, yeah, I don't even know if I can do Carty's voice, but all the like men's voices that I can do are really quite stupid. <laughs> I can only apologise. Predominantly male audience. Did the Queen come back there for a second and say, Notre Dame, Notre Dame? Which she wouldn't have said Notre Dame, she would say Notre Dame or something, wouldn't she? You know. New PC? So to appreciate it, not quite. Still having some technical issues. Could play Power World. Other games I've tried are not recognizing the GPU. Interesting. Hmm. Try. Uh, wait. If I say that word, I have to do it in an American, a pseudo American accent. Aluminum. Aluminum. Because otherwise I feel like itchy as a British person saying aluminum rather than aluminium. I feel like I'm. I don't know. In some way, I need to give away my passport or something. We are listening. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alum it's aluminium, actually. It's aluminium. <laughs> Try that word. You have to use 100,000 channel points to get me to say that word, Creston, because I refuse to say it. And actually, Valk did it this week, didn't he? I will never say it unless I'm, you know, unless I'm taking 100,000 of your channel points, which I, I can't use for anything. <laughs> they go into... They go into the ether. Rhymes with condominium, yeah. Aluminium. <laughs> yes, aluminium. Oh, that was perfect. Gosh. Hello, Nasco. Hello, hello. My friend from the Kent area would also mimic, make fun of me saying nerd, and her voice would go lower too. Yeah. What is that about? Da -da 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 -da. Do, 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 do. I feel like I watched a lot of like California based um, drama when I was a kid. So I feel like if I did any kind of impression of American accents, it would have been like a Valley Girls style. Um, but now it's just like 
Hello. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know why. I have no explanation. I need to make friends with some Californian women. Probably. Teenagers, probably. I'm Mary Poppins. I'm not saying the word. I nearly said the word. I nearly said the word. Mary Poppins. Country boy. Ah. Uh, it's, it's pronounced Leviosa, not Leviosa. Wait, which way does she say it? It's Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. I can't remember. It's been a while. I haven't watched Harry Potter for a while. I have been remiss. Holy cats! Alice speaks valley for sure. I used to. I used to do a great impression. I think when I was a kid or a teenager, I would say like a lot. And I would say it quite a lot. But like, oh my god. There you go. Like, OMG. People didn't say OMG then though, did they? You know. Oh god. I'm trapped. I'm just gonna have to cleave my way out of this situation. Listen, pokey people. Da -da. Dun, 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 dun. Saying aluminium wrong, hello steel. Trouble comes this way. It's pretty, pretty spot on, Hermione. Thank you very much. You're just running around murdering everyone, separate. Septumems, menmu, whatever it's called. Benny? Yes, accurate. I'm just running around murdering everybody in Conan Exiles. That's all I'm doing tonight. I'm like getting my muscle memory back and reacquainting myself. I've had two months of not playing this game. Um, <laughs> back to comic question. Oh gosh. <clears throat> I think Valley Girl has a different meaning these days. Don't hear them say. <laughs> I'm not repeating that. I might need to emphasize Leviosa. She said it said Levio Leviosa, not Leviosa. Is that what it was? It's been a while. I've watched those movies so many times. Uh, they're in like a group of movies and TV shows that I have watched so much that I had to not watch them to like, you know, be able to watch them again because I, I just watched them so many times I'd, you know, or at least listen to them. I'd have them on this like audio wallpaper and stuff. Bum, 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 bum. I did watch Shaun of the Dead very recently while I was on my break. Um, which is something that I feel like we reference quite a lot here. And I that's another film that I had to like not watch because I just knew it too well. And I just I just didn't get the, the rush from my in my brain anymore from <laughs> things they said. So I refreshed my excitement for that game. So that was good. So if I randomly say you've got red on you and stuff like that, then you'll know why. Let the moitering begin, yes. Are you leveling the thrall? The thrall is fully leveled. I am just eating about murdering everybody. And we're chatting. I have an Irish friend who says like, like, like a lot. All oh, right. Sheer moider, yes. The Winchester for the win. Yes, exactly. Uh, I need to turn off my chat. I don't know why it keeps popping up. Ah, there you go. I'm just feeling nostalgic, really. We're just warming up for chapter four, basically. Basically. Dun, da, da, dun. We could do the wine cellar. Um, I think like a nice slow rain. Are you having a slow rain today? I found the combat had improved since the patch. Not entirely where it, it was, but at least better on the controller. Do I uh, do I know we weren't as badly affected as you could? Yeah, the controller definitely. I had consistently people saying, one, I don't feel the difference. Or two, I prefer it. Um, so, you know, I feel like on controller it was, wasn't so bad. Um, and there were conspiracy theories about that, which was kind of funny. Of like, oh, they're trying to make everyone use a gamepad or something. Um, but yeah, it does feel a bit better than it was, but I also will have adjusted to it, which, you know, <sighs> you know, it's definitely not as good as it was. And sometimes she just doesn't turn around when she's supposed to, um... So I'm like walking backwards and I'm trying to change it. So I do, I do believe they will make some changes. Sit. Thank you. I'm sorry. Corner O, corner O. Yeah. Such a good movie. Da, da, da. When Falco announced yesterday something old and hungry awakens hoped it was referring to the original combat yeah chapter two like rears its ugly head 
or pretty head or whatever. The golden times. I feel like they've fixed this. Is that a woman? Oh, it is a woman. No. So I feel like this has always been like a misnamed. There's two people, the Seeker Ophelia and Brant of Zingara. And I think Brant is supposed to be on the different model um, and vice versa. Seeker Ophelia. I don't know if it's just on purpose or if it's become a meme now, but it always felt like they were just, they were misnamed. Um, not going to try out Helldivers 2, seems all the rage right now. I actually looked it up on Steam today because somebody uh, suggested it to me. Do you guys want to see me play it? Are you interested? Um, always happy to receive suggestions. Uh, Anna, Anna Zilla, oh my god. Some of those are one of the best. It's so cool, yeah. Such a good movie. I got Conan when it was in early access and they've meddled so much with the combat in the game since I don't, I don't even know if it's better or worse anymore. That's fair. That's fair. Um, I do still feel very nostalgic for the old, like, roll that we had, where we would roll, like, a mile, like, a really far. I kind of... I don't think I'll ever kind of really get over that change. Um, but I, I just, you know, I feel like Chapter 2 was kind of a peak for us, really. I just really liked it, you know? Need coffee to keep up with that energy. So rest of this game, need a full brain update. Yeah, definitely. I feel like a lot of us have just been playing other games. Um, um, which is why I'm playing today. Because I need to like, like remind myself before the beta. Dun, 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 dun. I love this uh, saddle for the horse because it has a light on it from Immersive Armies, I believe. It's so nice, just to have a bit of a light. Nightingale just feels very like slappy. It just feels like you're you're not being very precise with your combat. It just feels too, you're flailing around and, you know, you're using, you know, harvesting tools right up till, you know, you've been playing the game for a long time. So I would really like that to be adjusted, you know. I want it to feel more satisfying and to, you know, before you get to guns, you know. Uh, bought it but haven't tried it yet, looks so cool. Did someone say Shaun the Dead? Yes! I watched Shaun the Dead recently. Finally, I've been talking about watching it, re-watching it for ages. I really watch movies these days. I used to watch them a lot. Although I would always play a mobile game when I was watching because I just couldn't kind of focus otherwise. Ooh, boss. Hello, boss. Do I have Steel Feud? I guess I will soon find out. I don't remember. I don't think so. I think I've got max HP, max agility. Um... I've got my um, Amzadi the Wanderer named Thrall full leveled. So she's got so much HP. He can't really. He can't hurt her. So. But these guys have been nerfed recently, haven't they? You know, quote unquote recently. They used to do way more damage. They used to be like. Avoid at all costs. I don't have my. My torch with me. Uh, I should give her all the snacks, shouldn't I? She's run out of snackies. Lasting Feast is a good one for her. Dun 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 dun. Do do do. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. I always come over here because of the Grey Lotus. Not that we need it so much anymore because it's so much more abundant. Dun 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 dun. Um, not enough weight behind the strike tonight. Yes, that's right. And I want swords, but the Winchester rifle is fun. Yeah, I think the guns are fun, but you need the melee to feel like mm, satisfying, don't you? Played a lot during chapter two. It was great. It was so good. I loved it. Um, Helldivers looks absolutely chaotic. Not sure if it's your kind of game, but it's a good game. I'm sure you could do well at it. 
I might have to, I might give it a try at some point. I don't know if I'll be able to like play through it, but I would maybe do like one stream on it or something just to give it a go. Because I've had a few people say they really enjoy it. I did watch the trailer earlier before the stream. Um, so if you're out in the rain, just over two inches of moisture here. You're having a bit of a monsoon season in the surf. Currently modding Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, some friends and I have been waxing poetic about the nostalgia, deciding to see how well it's modernised with the modern scene. Ah, that is the nice thing, isn't it? Modders can do so much. To, like, put new life into games you love so much. Including graphical updates and things as well. Ark died at Gen 1. I... It's funny. I mean, I got the new graphics card, which has been a godsend for all the new games I've been playing recently and I have been really enjoying playing everything on max settings and recording in 1440p and everything it's been so good but even with the 4070 Ti um without a new CPU my like arc gameplay just it was like I could get 60 frames on the high settings um but kind of no more than that while I was streaming and I don't know what it was I think I am very much looking forward to Scorched Earth for Ark um, because I never played Scorched Earth on ASE. Um, so I am looking forward to that. And I think what we'll do is we'll use a, we'll do a Scorched Earth server um, and we'll run it for a period of time and then we'll wipe it. Um, like, you know, when I, when I play another map for Ark. Um, so if you want to play Scorched Earth on a community server, then we will have one for that. That's the plan anyway. Yes, I actually think it might be better to do it cross-play. Um, I don't know how the mods, if the mods are working properly for cross-play. I don't want to have to pay for mods or anything like that. Um, so I don't know. But yeah, I would like to do a Scorched Earth server. And I will be planning to do a playthrough on our Scor Scor Scorched Earth. Yeah, he does way less than he used to. I mean, I, I don't think I have steel food. I'm wearing, like, heavy armor. Believe it or not. Time for punishment doing work. Is he coming for me? No. What do I have? I don't have my steel food. So for the Stygian Fortress, anything, like, purges or the Stygian Fortress, it doesn't help me to have steel food because I'm getting attacked by so many different enemies. Um, but anything where I'm doing like boss fights, particularly solo dungeons and things like that, and I do like to use it, like the arena champion or things like that. Oh, we got another pristine weapon. Pristine Kari sword. They're so pretty. Used to be a lot harder to get than they are now. Very pretty. Dun, 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 dun. Do, do, do. Let's get our fragments of power for free. You absolute wallies. Move out of the way. There we go. And then we've got the legendary chests. Ooh, Ajaz Bane. Which these days does 60 damage, 28% armor pen, and is now has this executioner ability. Lots of durability. Uh, which means the final 10% of the enemy's HP will go in one hit. And we got black bro bro brewers. War How do you say that in an American accent? Brewers. Brewers. Because the R's are kind of. <coughs> my throat hurts now. Reactive bleed shield. There you go. Brewers. Brewers. <laughs> I have to make my voice like gravelly or something. Um, wine cellar. Uh, yeah, survival games generally, basically. Pretty much all survival games at some point I will play or have played or played a lot um 15 000 hours in arc guess i need a new pc soon yeah sat dragon cpu is great cause stream play smoother yeah i need a new cpu really unfortunately um i have a 9900k which i really thought would be like brilliant for a long time but it's already like what three years old five years old question mark it wasn't new when i got it i mean it was a it was like new 
it hadn't just been released as a CPU. And the problem with like streaming is I need to constantly be upgrading things. The, the, the GPU is so good. I love it. It's been amazing. The problem with this CPU though is um, I have an AIO on my current CPU for cooling and I would need a new, a new cooler as well. So, Ooh, another pristine Kari bow. Let's take all the snacks and we'll give them to our friend for, for like... I should take the the fragment or people will cry. Poor lady. She's like, could you just give me food, please? Have some have some heels. Oh, we've got some sausages as well. Take those. Weak aloe. Is that all the food? And craft some weak aloe. Sweet. Free Kari steel. Um, I would re I would read it Bruargs with a hard G, not saying it's right yet. Bruargs. Black Bruargs. Bro Wars. <laughs> How do we say that in American accent? We d we don't. Yeah, but how would you? How, yeah, you, you, yeah, but some of you would. Roars, roars. <laughs> um, if it does keep up with it, Nightingale might become insane. Down like, yeah, that's how I feel about it, Benny. Just a wild, a massive game, and Shadow will be great. But it probably feel like the kind of game you complete. Yes, that's the thing about Nightingale. It feels like it's got a lot of because it's procedurally generated. It feels like it's got a lot of long term replayability. But the core mechanics in the game really need to be worked on. Um, it, it feels frustrating and kind of fiddly, and you know. We need a lot of quality of life kind of features. We need craft room containers. Um, you know, I would like it if we didn't have any encumbrance in our home base, things like that. Don't hit me. Um, the NPC like followers need to be worked on a lot. They definitely need a lot of improvements to be useful. And, uh, you know, I like that they can carry things for us. I wish they didn't put things in fires um, or, in, or auto build things. As you move around the map. You used to be so scary. He's going to kill me now because I'm like, I have less respect for him. There you go. <laughs> just pop a heel. It's in quite a different, dangerous alley, really. Oh, it's husband. collect the heels from our friendos as well. Ooh. Poor lady. I nearly called her Delincia. have to loot all these skellings for the heels. There we go. Okay. Let's get all the heels from the people. I don't have any... I don't have a torch with me, unfortunately. Um, but, um, right, all the heels and all the food we'll put on our lady. this junk. All right. Let's get to you some reps. Delincia is bay. She is bay. She's very special. I can't run it. Cut poop, poop, poop. I can't run it. A nice and girl. Um, and then try to like tip after an hour so gameplay would feel very tired. Ten hour playing Soul Mask and I was still good to go. Yeah, I feel like Soul Mask feels very immersive and 
you know, some cool features. I never got to the point where I had friendos in it. Um, so I definitely play more of that when it comes out. Uh, I was only able to buy my CPU now because of Amazon uh, dropped off a thousand of the price on sale, really? Oh my goodness. What is the name of your currency, Paolo? Um, I don't know what the name of it is. For a CPU upgrade, you will probably need a motherboard. Oh, that's it, Kevin. That's right. I list. I made a. Li I have like a separate channel in the Discord where I have listed all the things I would need to upgrade just my CPU because it means a lot of changes. So it's a lot of money. So I haven't. I haven't put anything on my wish list because I just. You know. Did you get the light on the horse? How did he get it? It's. It's from Immersive Armors, Jason. It's from. Uh, it's a special saddle from the Immersive, Ar Immersive Armor mod. I feel like that would be a nice thing to add. Are you trying to say Briar? I'm trying to say this. Brewers. <laughs> Bro Brewers. Brewers. I don't know how you'd say that in the American accent, but it, because you like, because the R's are quite prevalent, you know, that, in that accent. It makes me curious. Um, Nightingale needs a ton of work. Studio is bigger than a lot of others working on the same kinds of games. However, that means they get stuff done. I think they're very passionate and, you know, I have a lot of affection for them. They're very nice to work with. Um... And I know they just love the game and they just... Oh. So I'm very hopeful for the beginning. Uh, what am I saying? Oh, beginning to... I saw a word, said the word. Had Ashta. Um, I'm excited for the development of the game, basically. Yeah. Um, is Ark worth a try? Uh, yes, absolutely. If you like survival games and you've never gotten around to trying Ark, I would definitely suggest you try it. Um, certainly, ASE... Um, uh, Ark Survival uh, Evolved, which is cheaper and any, you know, any system. It's easier to run. It might not look gorgeous, but you can run it on, you know, a reasonably, I don't know, the average computer, right? Uh, Ark Survival Ascended has a lot of beautiful uh, lighting upgrades. Um, the terrain, terrain looks much better. They've worked a lot on the terrain. It's a lot prettier. Um... But it's very hard to run. Um, it looks... Uh, it's hard to get a good frame rate, you know. Um, and really, you need a 40 series card to um, to get, like, 60 frames on high settings. Otherwise, you have to really, like, you know, lower, lower everything down. So it, it, apart from the terrain looking kind of nicer, you don't get all the glowy, pretty lighting and stuff that you get. That they advertised if you don't have a really good like 40 series card or something really um obviously you know some of that kind of perception for me is based on the fact that i also stream so it that limits my kind of performance or whatever you can also use what is it called geforce now um which is that streaming thing but when i last looked into that um which is basically your ability to stream the game using uh, remote hardware right um when I last looked into that, they didn't have the option to do it for like a month and test it out. You had to sign up for like six months or something. Because um, I know some people use that and enjoy it. Um, I wouldn't use it for anything that you don't want any latency, like, a, um, like an FPS game or something. But something like Ark, you could definitely use that for that. Um, so yeah, I would say, you know, Ark Survival Evolved, if you don't have a particularly high-end computer, or Ark Survival Ascended, if you have a decent computer. Very, not just decent, but like, freaking top of the range. Um, but bear in mind, Ark Survival Ascended, currently there's only one map you can play on. And then Scorched Earth and the centre coming out. I don't know when, they keep changing the goalposts. Uh, we better harvest him at his key. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a fun game. If you want to run away from terrifying dinosaurs, it's a brilliant game. <laughs> if you're not like, you know, it's like Conan. I feel feels more. Um, you can feel more cozy in it. It doesn't really feel terrifying at all, does it? It's just more kind of cozy. You must eat soon. Give me some snacks, lady. Is that going to make me warm? Oops. But yeah, it is it is a lot of fun. Um, Briar. Briar. Is it? 
But it says bra, bra. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it's a struggle. Uh, they'll have to do anything to get the job. Uh, once I hit the two hour marker, will it just happen? So watch for two hours. Make sure your Twitch is, is connected to your Conan account. And then in your, there's a drop, you have a drops inventory in your Twitch and your dashboard or whatever. You'll get like a little pop up in your like notification saying that you've, you've got it. And you've got to make sure you claim it in Twitch. And then at some point in the future, when you decide to log into Conan, you'll see it um, as an item you can craft, basically. Or it'll just be in your, if you play creative, you can just, you can just place it. Will be in the folding screens. How I did for entertainment, and it is a to like. Oh, you're so sweet, Creston. I appreciate all the support, honestly. Still laughing too hard over Anna Anna Brawlers. What are you trying to say? The Pearl of Bra. Bra. It's a freaking shield name, and I one I don't know how to say it even in my accent, and I don't know how to say it in an American accent. But because you have like, because your R's are like, Arr. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I want to hear an American say it. It kind of lets you fight anything you see. It tells you to run away from everything you see. Yeah. Run or fly. Mm hmm Absolutely. Hello, old MFA. How are you doing? Good to see you. Sounds like Anna's trying to say brewers. It's this word here. It's, how do you say it? Write it phonetically in the chat, people. Um, new Arc Ascended have lots of quality of life and build systems. Wait, approved. Runs fine for me. 70 80 FPS. Uh, I am Verizon 7. Yeah. If I don't stream it using my 4070 Ti, um, I get I get like 80 frames. The only thing is my CPU is a bottleneck. That's the problem. So I have a very good graphics card now, but my CPU is a bottleneck. Brrrr. <laughs> um, oh, if you're using better Twitch TV, it also has a setting to just auto claim everything you're eligible for. That's a very good tip. Because I was saying earlier, we need an option to auto claim drops because if you forget you just don't ever get it because it times out doesn't it that's perfectly sad to just like me oh god at least in Conan the Turd wallets give up and go home whereas in Ark they're like the Terminator you never go up until you're dead they're scary although it, the nice thing in Ark is that you can walk them off the edge of a cliff can't you um that's a good way to like clear dinos from your home area it's kind of fun the pirate style yeah it's dinner time I'm glad to leave as you on for sure see you soon all right lovely that's not a real world. Well, it, it may be not a real word, but I want to know how you would say it. It's a Conan word, so it's a word, I guess. Um, we are missing some healing items for her, which is suboptimal. But she has, you know, 11,000 HP, and we, we do a bunch of damage too. Um, let's top up her situations and whatnot. Um, uh, do I need anything else? I have some heals. I have my thingy... I have some hardened steel arrows. I guess maybe we'll use those a bit. Go on then. Uh, let me put you on attack nothing. Behavior, engagement, attack nothing, which I've always done because um, it used to be a problem where the skeletons spawned in the floor first and then my floor would be trying to fight those. They're here. You see them sparkling. And she would get distracted by them. So I prefer to put her on attack nothing and just click on the dude so she focuses on him. And then any skeletons that uh, spawn in future waves, um, I can just draw their aggro, essentially. I don't even know what armor I'm wearing. Okay, I'm wearing Stygian. Stygian armor with the um, perfected heavy boots that you get from doing one of the journey steps. Boy's got a lot of HP. She hits a bit like a wet noodle, but she does have a lot of buffs. All of her armor is strength buffing armor. She's got black lotus potion. She's got pork. As, well, she did have pork as her buff, which I think she still has actually. Looking at her, as a strength buff. So, and she's got the Momentum Mace, which is really, really good for damage. But she's just a tank for me, because I like to go around doing a lot of damage. But if you're the kind of person who likes to be like a hunter-gatherer, you want to kind of... Here we go. 
You probably want to go for somebody who does more damage. And if she didn't have that much HP, I'd be worried about her dying from this fight. And she doesn't have any healing foods. Fortunately, I do a lot of damage myself. Does the horse have anything on him? No. We're just out for a wander. We, we just wandered into this dungeon. There we go. Friendos and floor waves. I get your attention, people. Get your attention. Come over here, people. Her clear. There we go. Skippy times. Nice. Textbook. Steal the snacks and the heels. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you. Hmm. It's one of the more fun fights, isn't it? She's like, could you please give me some snacks? I'm starving here. Dun, 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 dun. Sweet. Heal up, dude. I don't care about those things. Da, da, dun, dun. Keep the Crimson Lotus, I guess. Dun, da, dun. Doo, 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 doo. She can have the good heels as well. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. Doo, 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 doo. Right, chests. The Grim. Escalating and bleed. Daggers. Black Dragon Pike. I never use pikes. Reach and bleed. And we got Eye of the Khan, which is a strength uh, strength bow, which is really good. So if you're running your strength build and you want to use a bow that uses strength damage that you put points into, that's really good. Sweet. 
pack a lot of food. Yes, for this. Yes, considering how scrawny they are, they they really like uh, they like to pack the snacks ready. Let's go fight Seth one more time before we leave, because I always do to maximise my Seth truncheon acquisition. Well done, thank you. We may get changes to thralls during the last dev stream talk today. They mentioned they were looking at surviving thralls. They were, yes. I never really explored the dungeons after walking into my very first Warmakers. Yeah. I remember being nervous when I used to do, like, the dungeons for the first time. I remember being kind of excited. The wine cellar was probably the first one I ever did without... Oh, look at that. It's always worth coming back in. Wine cellar was, like, the first one I did uh, without looking it up at all, you know? Um, and that was kind of fun. That was a fun adventure. Did it with a friend. It was good. Um, still say Anna has to do something blindfolded. It feels like you've been doing everything too easily. That's kind of the point, isn't it? Dun, 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 dun. Still hasn't looked things up. Ah, oh, well, that's fair. Do... First time catching live, got my rogue I named Barrett today because I'm watching vids. Oh, wonderful. Glad to hear that. Welcome. Well, chapter four is going to be here very, very soon. So I'm kind of warming up today. Just kind of getting back into the old mode of playing this game because I've taken about two months off it. Um, so I need to like warm up. Give you some snacks, friend. Should we have a run round and see if we see any cool thralls? Go around the usual haunts. Da -dun, da -dun. Do -do 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 so I need to be tier three dancers in that place. There is a lone fisherman over there. If you see the, if you see somebody in this like in light encumbrance armor. And it's always a named person. Oh, it's a lady as well. Shall we acquire her? Da -da. Do, do, do. Um, ba -dum. And go. The only thing is she can sometimes glitch into that teepee. It's happened to me more times than I care to mention. I'll be kind of careful. Sometimes I like to just move her over here. They're clicking on the ground. Come over here, buddy. What are you doing? Come on, fight me over here. We've got a couple of taverns we need to populate with cooks. There we go. Bit of water, never hurt anybody. Let's go put her in the wheel, shall we? The pop-up gym. <laughs> uh, most likely did to get turned around and you didn't watch walk through. Um, you mean, what do you mean? Making friends the old fashioned way, I see. Yeah, I mean, I'm a stickler for the old, the old ways. I do hit the kind of wiki when trying to answer different ethnicities. I'm guessing the exile is basically just escape from New York. Um, all these criminals just dumped into an area then then I find the law stones and so many questions yeah I definitely read the law stones back in the day I dropped my person <laughs> um, I feel like we should be able to do the, the roll whilst carrying the person on the rope I just wanted to test it um, yeah but I just I, I don't know I just got used to not reading the law stones or listening to the law stones and they kind of yell at you so I don't know I got used to not paying attention. So I'm not great on the law, I have to say. Dun, dun, dun. Right, onwards. Dun, 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 dun. Bet Anna greets everyone like that. Punch first, ask questions later. Listen, it's just how I express myself, Christian. Stop, like, what's the word? Criticizing my individuality or whatever. Wine cellar is the only dungeon you can potentially get lost in. Oh, I see, yes. So, I, funnily enough, and type one in the chat if this is you, people. I did have some people say they didn't realise that the wine cellar was a dungeon because um, people had just talked about um, getting thralls inside it. I had a couple of people write on my video about it that um, they didn't know it was a dungeon <laughs> until they saw my video. Um, they didn't know you could jump across the bridge, that kind of thing. 
42 is not an acceptable answer. Thank you very much. To the corner, please, sir. Anna's such a yank, but sounds so British. Am I? I don't even know who I am anymore. Not the NPCs give you better information than the law stones. Yeah. I really like the way they did Sipta. I love the way that that dude kind of like reads out the, the notes and stuff dotted around. I like that you can run around and listen and it keeps playing so you don't have to stop and stand still because I hate that. Um, so yeah, I really like the way they did Sipta. Definitely. Do If you could breed thralls like dinosaurs in Ark Delincia's children. That'd be kind of interesting. Would that bring up some like ethical problems, do you think? Yeah. I mean, I would definitely breed with Delincia. I mean, breed Delincia. Do you know what I'm saying? No. Q is not an answer either, Nefanor. Toad wallet. Behave yourself. To the corner. Off to the corner you go. Oh, see me. <laughs> yeah. Or breed Delincia with Leonel. That'd be a good breed, wouldn't it? What is this tumbling move remote machine? Uh, at the apex of your jump, with whilst moving forwards, if you press crouch, you will roll. Since uh, the Age of War, Chapter 1, I think. As soon as I introduce treasure. So you can just... I have um, crouch um, bound to my mouse on like a little clicky button at the side. And so I can roll, like, as much as I want to. Delincia and Leon, is that, would that be your, would that be your, like, OTP? <laughs> so sorry. Anna and her love affair with Delincia. I love Delincia. She's, she's bae. I love her. I've definitely accidentally dove headfirst of a cliff. Yes, definitely. I do have, like, a short video on my YouTube channel of me diving into the well of Skelos. Um which I had to do <laughs> in creative mode. Um, yeah, fun, yeah, spoiler or fun fact or whatever. Yeah, look at that glutton for punishment. It's so good. But yeah, it is fun to dive off things, definitely. Okay, we've got our tier three guaranteed spawn over here. Ooh, and a driver. I mean, can I be bothered? Sometimes there's a taskmaster here. I don't know if I've ever seen the the non-named. I feel like it's either the uh, Elena or nobody. Have you ever seen like a tier three or a tier one or tier two Taskmaster here? I don't feel like she used to spawn there. Because I've, I, bear in mind, this used to be my absolute favorite place to, to build um, on the Exiled Lands. I always used to build opposite the prison over here. So I spent a lot of time in this area because I used to farm the fudge out of Sepa Maroon. Um, why else? Oh yeah, because I used to get human-only purges here. I would get relic hunter, treasure seekers. What else? Pirates. Just it was human-only purges, guaranteed. I loved it. It was good times. And I was always after. Um, oh hello. I was always after a. Uh, what's the word? Where's my horse, squirrel? I feel like I should name my horse squirrel at this point. Um. It is following me, anyway. <laughs> I didn't forget my horse. He's just following me. Also, timely reminders, please, only. Thank you very much. Um, definitely accidentally over clips. We can't get Funko ideas. They would they would bring random pooping to the XR. Yes, people have asked, like, said that they wish that you could poop in this game. I'm not for that. I <laughs> don't think. Leon is mine. Keep the topless trollop away from him. I shall not. Da, 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 da. Hated Sep until I discovered purple, purple lotus orbs, orbs and Sep are like a marriage made in heaven, aren't they? Absolutely. It's like the perfect place for it. Or where else? The volcano. Really good in the volcano. Especially at... Um, what is that called? Sir, you were nowhere near me. You freak. Um... Been a minute. Hold on. Shrine of the Oracle. Is that what it's called? Yes. At the Shrine of the Oracle. And this kind of area in the NPC camp in the volcano where they're all passive. And in fact, there's a bunch of passive people. 
dotted around, but there's a lot of fighters elsewhere. But here, there's like a whole section with uh, peaceful people, and you can just and near near that, and you can just yeet some purple lotus orbs at them. Where is my horse? Hello. Um, if I admin teleport, he should kind of follow me. There he is. The horse is here! The horse is here! He just got stuck somewhere. Is that a jaguar or a jaguar? I say jaguar. Wait, jaguar. I don't say jaguar. 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 I don't say jaguar. I say jaguar. Um, bonded one, I'm about to tell you how small and insignificant you are. Yes, definitely. Uh, Knight dropped his nightlight and is coming back for it. Personal favourite, diving off the ship and bonking your head clip. Yes, which Nefanor did clip and is one of my most watched clips on Twitch. Absolutely. It was funny. Uh, I hate to repeat myself. <laughs> camel has a large infantry of horses, just believe. That's true. Do you know what? I haven't used the camel at all. I've not even... Did I ride... Okay, I did ride a camel, but only when they flew. And now, I don't know if I want to use one. I will do, like, um, next. What's it called? Uh, chapter 4, I will use a camel. Adidas or Adidas. Yes, both of those are correct, Creston. Congratulations. Apparently, it's because it's Adidasler. So it's Adidas, not Adidas. But when I was in school, people said Adidas. And then I learned it was Adidas. Yep. Any more tests? Give me some more British tests. I love it. Apparently, it's Jaguar. <laughs> To the corner, all of you, everybody to the corner. Just make space for each other, okay? <laughs> jaguar is how most, yeah, most Americans say it. I know, Jaguar. Definitely. Uh, which mod wants to post the Anna dive off the ship and bonking her head clip? Ah, oh, yes. I think a VRP can post it as well. Yep. Otherwise, there's no links. Anna catching can catching star metal. Oh my god. Seven thousand hours and that had never happened. Well it was maybe six thousand hours at the time. It had never happened to me. Um but yeah, I did get struck by star metal and killed in Sipta. Is it you all or why apostrophe A double L? It is you all or just you guys or you peeps or you collectively. Kristen. Samurai. Samurai? You want me to say samurai? How do you say how do you say that? I tried the camel but didn't enjoy it because it can't jump. It can't do a little like the little boing like that. That was a riot. Just just say water water eight P. I'm worried about being tricked into saying something. I broke he broke six hundred hours in the shrouded, did you? I saw so many pictures in the Discord. Yep. I, I want to play all these games, like, much more, but I have to, like, I don't know, constantly fight with myself. Anna the Cheater, new title confirmed. Wait, what did I do? What, because I hadn't been teleported. Um, on my butt's not letting me grab the link. Grab the butt. Oh, my God. Camel cannot, unfortunately. Really? That is weird. I thought it was supposed to behave the same way as a horse. Sorry, sir. Where should we build in chapter four? I was going to do a like a northern build for chapter three. And I never, we never got that far, did we? I wonder where we should build. Ah, Nefinol whispered you the, uh, the link, Lumiton. Isn't chapter four still not released? Isn't, that's an interesting sentence, Hunger. Thank you, there you go. That is me diving off a boat um uh, chapter four dev stream is on friday Unger. so beta is imminent oh, beta beta the beta is imminent <clears throat> if i may give myself a sore throat i've heard samurai and sam oh samurai oh no samurai mm, samurai i say oh god I forgot you were here, friend. Strangely. Because you don't have a chest anymore. And I was kind of partial to your chest. Kitty's like, what? 
Oh, she's on attack, nothing. Get him. My resurgence. So can I? I don't have any heals. I better make some, haven't I? <laughs> what was that? Hacks. The kitty can fly. Like having a full break from Conan for a while and like coming back for chapter four or like just you know checking out interested in what the new content is going to be or if how many of you have like been pr playing it like properly I'm interested she's got her freaking Seth Trenchin or coup de grace madam that job will not do here you go let me give you that it's because we did the <laughs> I always do that forget to switch back again after knocking someone out Dun, 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 dun. Break. Mm, having a break. Salty. Yeah. I feel like a lot of us have been kind of salty, like sulkily having a break. I'm speaking for myself, by the way. I don't mean to insult you, but. The wheeze laughed for an eight second blast when the camel left the ground with those Debbie. I was like, that was such a funny moment. Oh my God. I was like, I'm glad I was there for that weird bug, which they warned us about. It was very funny. Um, having a break. I've got Nana singing in that clip. Was I singing? I never sing, people. Come on now. <clears throat> break, yeah. Taking a bit of a break from Conan as well. Nice. Is he trying to trick me? Uh, took a few years break. Came back for this season. Played quite a bit for a month. Decided to come back for next season. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Um... It's just another way of doing smiley faces, or at least it was in 1999. I realised it dated myself. Oh, the eight meant to be sunglasses. I see. I see, I see, I see. Uh, only started playing a week ago. Break from day Z, really? I say day Z. I should say day Z, shouldn't I? Generally, I'm stubborn that way, but, you know, there are exceptions. Oh, but I don't feel good about it, people. Do you know what I mean? Um, let me just make some wraps so I can heal myself. Dun 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 Do 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 play every week, it's my main non-MMO currently. Mmm. I was watching the camel into the I know they were I know they tweeted out my like camel clip. That was very funny. Dun 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 dun. You kind of post in Instagram has a webs. Have they tweeted? Really? Maybe I'm playing Wearforms. You never swear, like, the two clips above the camel. Yeah. I never swear, never nor. Won't be able to enjoy it properly on console this time. Will we even able to participate in the beta test? Oh my god, Paolo, that's so exciting. Been a few months off. She can say Z, but not that word. Yeah, I don't say Z generally, but Day, Day, Day Z sounds ridiculous. Love the only game. Wish there were more time in the I've just figured it out phase before you get to be super powerful. Hmm. I want to see if they've if they twittered about the next chapter. <gasps> oh. oh yes, I'm going to post it in the chat. There's the the tweet. Dun, 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 dun. Can I manage to like do this without doxing myself? Is the question. Uh, un momento. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, is this going to work? Yeah, it is. Let me get the audio sorted. Okay, this is what they've just put on socials about chapter four. Uh, let me know if you can hear it.
I don't know if there's sound there. Just ambient sound. Oh, it's just a short clip. Oh, ooh, spoopy. There you go. That is a teaser for chapter four, people. Let me get rid of this. There you go. What does that mean, I wonder? Hmm. Thoughts, reactions, outbursts. <clears throat> yes. Let me just put this over here. There you go. Uh, easy for you to say. I guess day Z sounds a bit like dazed. I don't, I think day Z sounds fine. It's just that because people say day Z, it's just like such a short, like sounding thing. Um, that it just doesn't, it just seems like an unrecognizable concept or word or whatever i would like to become a bear person oh my god the bear puns are gonna come back oh no oh you don't know dun 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 it's never ending story dlc the, no the nothing is coming excited as well playing on creating my character on pc this weekend i'm so excited Funny the most view clip on youtube channel is the otter one the otter his oh my god it's i think it's actually my most viewed video of like my entire youtube channel is it over a hundred thousand views i think it's insane. I'm just gonna knock this tiger out. What? Then you can tame it. It's not how it works in this game. Silly thrill. Yeah. Let me hide my preview for my frames. Yeah. So what do you think about that little teaser? Drunken bears in Conan. Mm. Anna can barely contain her. Oh god. They return the bear puns. To the corner. To the corner. Bum ba dum bum. Bum ba dum. Do, 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 do. Has anybody been playing Sons of the Forest? It's come out in um, 1.0, hasn't it? Let me just meet this. Oh, I don't know if you even heard it. Oh, yeah, you did hear it. Um, um, Hanuman God incoming. Mm. Is it got 115,000? Yeah. It's a bear punch. <laughs> oh, hello, Morden. Well, we've just seen a teaser, which I've posted in the chat if you scroll up a bit. Or chapter four, which I don't know what could it mean, people. Intriguing. Um, played it in early access, and I just didn't love it, although I thought the original was much better. Uh, oh, for some of the forest, yes. So, would you be interested to see me check that out? I was thinking about, I was thinking about doing a bit of a, at least a stream on it, see how it feels. Jabal Sag rising. And I did mention she she can barely contain her excitement over the new Conexus chapter. Oh, Kristen. <laughs> BRB, alright, lovely. Dun. Yeah, we did watch it on the stream. Um, can I eat some snackages? I don't have any, like, uh, I have Elixir of Grace I can eat. Can put these weapons on my friend oh. Dun 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 dun. Horse doesn't have any snacks either. You can have seeds, buddy. Oh, well. Let me take that and I'll use it. Dun 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 dun. dun. Was it a bear or a monkey man? I don't know. What do you think it was? Who knows? Whomst ever would know shape shift abilities that would be kind of cool cannot play sense of the forest too many wet noises makes my skin crawl yes mm. i don't I have to say all the like the considering i like walloped the arena champion with some what was it a leg or an arm i forget now uh i do find like the limbs and stuff to be kind of gross in sense of the, in the forest generally um i would kind of like to revisit it i i do i have said like this year i really want to play all the survival games um, so I did play a bit of Sons of the Forest, which you can see on my YouTube channel, like, when it came out in early access. And I'd like to revisit it at least once, so maybe we'll do a stream on it to kind of see how it is. Um, it was a bear that had one too many glowing potions at the bar, hence drunken bear. I see. Is, uh, is it nice to be back in Conan Con Yeah, it is modern. Mm-hmm. I missed it. I feel very cosy and like happy to be back. 
on the old Conan situation. Um, yeah, I missed it, definitely. Uh, I do, you know, I want them to change combat further, put it back the way it was, even if in, you know, m even if they don't do it entirely back to the way it was, I'd like it to be changed as much as possible back to chapter two. Um, but it is very nice to be playing again. I, I you know, took two months off and uh, it's just nice to kind of return. Hi there, people. The circle of death. Usually mine. She's on attack, that thing, still. Attack and eyes. Murder fine. I feel like if I... I might need to either change my FOV down a bit. Or, um... I don't know. I just need to readjust to how far away from my character I am. Or how far from, like, enemies I am. We need snacks for our friendo. Let's check the box. Um... Take that. Take some orbs. Why not? Usually, I don't kind of start mans here. Usually I just climb up because I'm too curious to see if anything good is here. If I see a Delincia, I'm going to be very sad if she gets modified. But I definitely should put her on attack everything. Let's go check for Delincias. Da, 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 da. Hey there, friendy. I missed you. I mean with my sword, not like, you know, not like as a friend or anything. Da -da -da. Let's take heals. May as well take hard and steel arrows as well. Is my usual arrow of choice? Because just because you can loot them from him. Hi there. Cook and the alchemist. No longer such a perilous fight because they don't have daggers anymore. At least not consistently. Dun 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 do 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 dun 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 dun. Thankfully, YouTube doesn't demonetize me when I hum Indiana Jones, but I had to get rid of Blur because uh, because sound alerts got me got my channel demonetized or not my channel but my video previous stream dun, 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 dun. this lady's like can you at least let me hit the enemy before you kill them and I'm like no no I can't as would Anna must be getting tired what did I say I feel like the Sons of the Forest survival crafting was inconsequential. The progress was being behind going in specific caves and points of interest didn't need to build a base. Hmm. Didn't you get a bunch of meals off the skellies? We did, but I put them all on my friendos and uh, she was very sick and so she's eaten them all because she was hungry. So there you go. She snacked. What is my... I could eat one of those armour foods for a bit of extra armour, but I'm... All right. Da, da, da. Do I have a Leoniel? I don't think I have. I have a Leoniel at the tavern, but spoiler alert, fun fact, or rage bait, I did spawn her in because it was just a creative build. You know what I mean? But I haven't got a, a Leoniel legitimately, I don't think. Maybe we'll do like a... Should we do like a mounds kind of base? I don't know. On the next playthrough, on like chapter four, I don't know what to do. I would like to do some kind of epic castle-y situation. Something moody would seem fitting. Dun, ba, dun, dun. Dun, da, dun. Um. Watched a bit of Sons of Forest seem quite fun. Yeah. You just crushed that Sumerian streams. He heard you say, Missed you. And he got his hopes up. That's it, yeah. Sorry about that, sir. Missed murdering you. Imagine Nelson. It's not being. Yeah, I don't miss Nelson at all. Nelson is a pain in the actual butt. Dun, 
I hear squeak of it outside the room. Which is good. Been a quiet kitty today. Very uh, recently, rather. I should take the arrows. She won't use wraps by herself, will she? I have to click on the wraps. She'll use potions. I guess, I don't know what the... I mean, it's obviously from a mod, isn't it? Hey there, peeps. So I will be doing um, I will be doing Steam key giveaways um, and co-streaming the dev stream on Friday, which I have mentioned, but I will keep mentioning it because people pop in and out of streams. So we can watch it together here on Twitch and on YouTube, depending on what your preference. Dun, 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 dun. I'll do some Steam key giveaways. Da, 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 da. Do you like right, snacks in your boxes? Nope. Fair enough. Dun, dun, dun. All right, we've done this section. Did I miss the can open ASMR? I didn't open any ASMR. I do have a coffee here, decaf coffee, which I've been drinking, which I forgot about actually. I'm spawning it here for Cheetah. I I wear it as a badge of honor. Hello, Miss Squeaky. Yes, Squeaky is Squeaky's a lovely little kitten. She's like, excuse me, I'm a grown kitty. Squeak of any ears. She's playing she's planning no good. Hello Hero Wolf, hello, hello. What's new? Uh we're warming up for chapter four. The dev stream is on Friday. Uh so we will I'll be able to talk about it soon. But we're just warming up because I took about two months off this game. And I just need to like get back in it really, get my muscle memory back, refamiliarize my brain, because I've been playing other survival stuff. Dun, dun, dun. It's really nice to be back, you know. It's good to take a break sometimes. I'll always return. Um, decaf non-alcoholic beer. Pfft, yes. I mean, I never really liked decaf. Um, never th thought it was worth anything. But the the coffee bags that I use, which are like tea bags, but for coffee which are really good. I I got some decaf version of it. Um and uh, I really like them. They're really nice. So sometimes I just really want a coffee, you know. But I shouldn't have it at, like late at night because it affects my sleep and I am kind of prone to screwed up sleep. Decaf plus me, I reckon I I I realize I accept that. Yeah, but I did have proper cap earlier. Just ashamed but it's 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 necessary dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Dun, dun, dun. it's just nice sometimes just to yeet about in this game you know so that's what we're doing today. I uh, I left the pyramid <laughs> without any snacks for her. Um, I, I just had like a stack of um, pork because I'm so out of practice. I just didn't have any food or like didn't have enough heals really for like eating around the whole map. So we're just kind of collecting foods and heals from enemies. Which you can kind of do in this kind of era. 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 Or like whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Anybody else whack their keyboard with their mouse frequently? 
I use a 10 keyless keyboard and I freaking adore it. It's amazing. I would never want to change it or anything, but I sometimes I smash my mouse into the side of it. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Love coffee. My heart won't let me drink it anymore. No. I'm so sorry to hear that. So sad. My husband and I started trying out some of those mushroom coffee replacements. They definitely feel less brain foggy. Do you? Does it have a, some like an effect, like a like a stimulant effect, the mushroom things, or isn't it just like I've seen? I saw like a bunch of YouTubers a few years ago talking about mushroom coffee, and it just really felt like um, a bit of a scam. I don't know. I mean, if it tastes nice, by all means, drink it. But does it is it a stimulant? Because that's what I need from the coffee. Although I do just like the taste and smell of coffee. Um, but I I like. I like decaf just for like the flavour of it really. I still couldn't replace regular caffeinated like, coffee. I just can't function if I don't have coffee. It helps me focus. Some mushroom coffee placements don't have any caffeine, but some do. I see. So so isn't it the caffeine that affects you uh, in a negative way? You'd have to go into too much detail if you don't want to. Um, good night. Catch up with you Friday for touching. All right, lovely. Thanks for hanging out. Good to see you. Hope you've been well. Have we been all the way around there? I think we have. Da -dun, da -dun, da -da -dun. Uh, I've got for my setup a Red Dragon Broadsword Pro the mechanical optical version with brow switches. What is a brow switch? Some terminology I've missed. Uh, we're talking. Is that saber tooths? Yes, saber tooths. Gonna go to Stargazer. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. uh, I confess I've got to get used to keyboards again. I have to say, I had to completely relearn this game when I switched to PC. Uh, because I was really good at combat on, like, controller. Because I had, like, 5,700 hours or something on PlayStation, I think. And then I started playing it. And I really had to learn how to, like, fight. And I think I spent more time on, like, Sipta, um initially. And I was just so crap. <laughs> I just had to, like, completely relearn how to play. Um, obviously, now I'm, like, 2,000 hours into PC um, and it's fine. But yeah, there's it, a bit of a learning curve when you have to switch over. Plus I had to relearn how to play Overwatch. Um, but I'm so much better at Overwatch on mouse and keyboard, which is one of my offline kind of games or my second channel I play. A bit of Overwatch. What are you, friend? Bow of the Grey Ones. It doesn't bleed, though. Hmm. That's a great drop, isn't it? I love that they've added Sipta stuff to uh, Exile Lands. It feels kind of fun and exciting, and if you ever don't recognise something, chances are it's a uh, it's a Sipter item, which is good. We've also got to get used to keywords again. Will you do a countdown to 8,000 hours on Conan? Maybe. I feel like we should have a counter somewhere, or like um like a a command or something in the chat that says like hours or something and it tells you how many hours in this game I have. I don't know how to work that though. I'd have to like register it. Uh, I'd have to like update it each stream or something maybe. Uh, more drops. So this is the drops. These drops started a while ago um, but because I haven't streamed this game for like two months and this is my first time streaming these drops. So this is the Yamatai folding screen basically. Shall we acquire a friend? Hi there, Sam. You want to be my buddy? I will always prefer to knock people out than to use like orbs and stuff. Or, you know. I wonder if they'll add um, purple lotus arrows. What do you think? That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? That was textbook. 
Da, 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 da. Um, enjoy the tactile feeling. Yeah, I've got tactile switches on this keyboard. It's freaking beautiful. I just love it. It's so good. Um, um, new to mechanical keyboards, the colour has to do with the tactical feel and noise. So there's brown. Oh, brown, red. Yeah, these are brown, I think. So tactile. Yep. It's, uh, what is it called? Uh, squirrel. G. Hold on. Bear with. G. G915 uh, G TKL light speed wireless tactile. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It was brought to me by these gorgeous people. I just love it. It gives me joy every day. I like appreciate it more than anything I own. <laughs> I honestly love it so much. I'm a nerd about these things. Welcome to a bottomless pit of endgame. Yeah. Tactile feeling. Yeah. Heart gets PVCs, preventricular contractions, and caffeine makes it worse. Pissing my heart gets crazy fluttery all the time. It doesn't help with anxiety either. Make it hard to catch my breath sometimes when it's crazy fluttery. I feel, I feel like, so just like all disorders, I feel like some people have some consciousness of what that might be, but when it's a disorder, it, it's like more prevalent, right? So I, when I say what I'm about to say, I'm not in any way taking away your illness, but I have felt that on occasion. Um, so I feel, feel sorry for you, especially if it means you can't drink coffee. Um, to put those disclaimers because I'm not like oh yeah me too oh yeah I have that as well I don't have that but I have felt that fluttery feeling in the past um, sound of typing on a selectric typewriter gets old fast typewriters oh my god how nice posting the hours would make stop uh, maybe stop folks trying to give you advice on how to play Dax that is not possible there's no way people would stop telling me how to play you know, I feel like people in Twitch are much kind of more. <sighs> I think because of the immediate feedback that people get when they write in Twitch chats and like the moderation and like the presence of other people looking, people are so much more well behaved in Twitch, like certainly in my channel. Um, but on YouTube, oh, the comments sometimes, some of them are lovely and some of them are helpful and some of them are, you know, useful. So, like, oh, by the way, this, this, that, and the other is kind of helpful, but. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Um. Oh, didn't they recently fix the blunted arrows? Are they usable again? You have the same keyboard? Oh, donut. It's so good. Mama says knock you out. Yeah. No offense taken. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, I know what you're talking about, but I haven't obviously got that. I haven't got that kind of um, problem, really. I mean, I've, you know, I've, I've experienced it briefly. I never know what it is actually. I wonder if it's just like, I wonder if it's like stress or something perhaps. I can still have coffee every now and again, but I can drink. I can't drink it daily. Mhm. Mm yeah. I I never used to drink coffee. I was always a, a tea drinker, and then I went to university, and then coffee became useful, <laughs> essential, to like you know get through my day and whatever. And then ever since then, and now I'm a coffee drinker. I used to like the smell, never liked the taste, and then I went to university, and then that's it. And here we are. Um, let's put let's put people in her inventory. We've got a lone fisherman. We've got a, an edge smith. We've got a berserker today. I'll put weapons on the horse because the horse won't pull them out and try and stab people. Let me give you your weapon back, friend. Da, 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 da. I really like thinking about Nightingale. I need to be able to press a but the same button for the thing I have equipped to unequip it. At the amount of times I'm pressing H in Nightingale to unequip everything, which I'm glad we have that because we didn't have that originally. But it it just she keeps pulling out her umbrella, and I don't want to use the umbrella. There you go. Um, all right. Onwards. Dun, 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 dun. Didn't drink coffee till I reached 50, really? That's very late to come to it. Goodness me. I was always a tea drinker. Um, but now I'm like, my brain really needs it, you know. I love drinking it in the morning, just chill, wake up, drink my coffee. Now I'm in such a sense of full avoid. Yeah. I have coffee, I usually have like one coffee a day. And then I switch to like tea or decaf, generally speaking. I can have more than that, but... Um, I get unmanageably kind of overstimulated, I guess. 
Uh, traumatic, thank you for the follow. I'm trying to behave, but don't always manage. Not me, though. I'm a good boy. Uh, it's always good to be. Good way to be. It's weird when other games have done stuff that everyone likes. Others so just should just should just copy. I think you're right. I think I, I like that they've tried to kind of be imaginative and, you know, um, but sometimes you don't want to recreate the wheel because the wheel is already perfect. So certain things like obviously they changed the HUD because on the stress test on the preview, the HUD was very different. I think it looked really nice and they changed it because we asked them to have like 10 item hot bar. Um, we wanted to be able to have our and we wanted to have weapons on the left because we're just used to pressing one for a weapon. It's much easier to just click one with your left hand, um, you know, to get in and out of combat. Um, but there's certain things that just, you know, they work. We're used to them. We play survival games. We play a lot of survival games, and we should just have them. You know, they should just exist, really. And some of those things, I guess, they will gradually add to like development in early access. Um, but you got to give them feedback and let them know what matters to you. You know. Am I going the wrong way? I feel like this is a regular occurrence in man's. If I look at chat. <laughs> Growing up in Texas, sweet tea is a way of life. Yes. Lots of sugar. Sorry about that, Amzadi. Yeah. Drink herbal teas with lemon and honey. What tea do you drink and how do you make it up? Um. So when I used to drink tea instead of coffee, I would drink like a British, proper British, like English cup of tea. So I would drink like tea with milk or oat milk or soy milk or something and like a sugar or two um like english tea standard or english breakfast tea i feel like a lot of you would call it um but now i just drink whatever tea i have with like a little bit of honey or something like um like recently i've been drinking just some tetley like black tea just with a bit of honey and usually like made slightly weak if it's not got milk or anything in it and that's good for me i just i like tea because it's kind of relaxing isn't it Sometimes you want a hot drink. A little shocked you're riding the horse. I tell you what though, Morden, it has taken all stream to get to this point. I have been running along with the horse running behind me, you know, just to satisfy the, you know, I haven't changed my personality in the last, you know, however long. Um, how am I? Okay, we're gonna go across here, I guess. Yeah, I've only just started using the horse because now we're moving to like another part of the map. Yeah. Do we know what's coming for chapter four? Well, the dev stream is on Friday, Edge, and I'm going to be co-streaming it on my channel here, Twitch and YouTube. So tune in for that, and I'll be doing some giveaways to celebrate. Uh, it's only riding night because he vanished a while ago. Yeah, I'm like, you get over here, sir. Let me come, like, yes, be where I know where you are or whatever. Start drinking, hello, Rickshaw. Start drinking coffee at age 23 when I was in the Navy. You used to drink four plus pots a day. Pots of coffee. Don't drink much anymore. Yeah. I When I was working the normal job, I would drink, like, I would buy coffee from, like, Costa, which is, like, a chain in the UK. And... <gasps> baby. Hi. It's a little baby wolf. Where's your mama? You just spawned in. Immediately wants to steal it. Um, I would drink, like, I would have like maybe two or three like large americano black americanos no sugar um and sometimes i remember thinking on like one day i remember thinking i don't even feel the effects of the coffee you know i was drinking so much caffeine some of you might be like oh that's small fry but i had a lot of caffeine when i was working in a normal job but i worked like long hours got home late and stuff like that um but these days i try to just have like one good coffee and then switch to something else just didn't bash the baby wall. Hello, Complex. How are you guys? Are you playing without mods or with, with mods? Quality of life mods. Yes. Exclamation mark. Mods are in if you want to see the list. Um, thank you for your coding content. Much love. Ah, oh, much love from Australia. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching it. I appreciate that. Been taking a bit of a break, but returning with excitement for Chapter 4. Hopefully all good things <laughs> with her with the way her hood looks she has at least yeah herself's ui you can see yep dun, 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 dun. last time we went to azagoth i think we got a what is it called a lagadara didn't we 
We've got a freaking frost giant pet. Does she have her weapon? I like lose track. I think she does, right? Why is she punching everybody? What is going on with you? Apparently I didn't give her weapon back. Squirrel. Da -da -dun, da -da -dun, da -da -dun, dum da 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 I used to get loads of entertainers from here and like Azagoth. I just had such a bevy of like red-headed beauties. I would collect them and then every time I found I've told you this before if you were like a regular viewer. But I would like my friend and I would have kind of almost a competition to see who could get the most attractive dancers and I would like replace them. So I would kind of go to like the north and if I found one that was better looking than another one I would like replace them. I know it's sad, isn't it? So I had the most at one point the best collection of most attractive dancers you could possibly imagine. What's up? Hello Rob. How are you doing? Good to see you. Just warming up for chapter four. Getting back into it. She's trying to impress you. Uh, love the smell of coffee, hate the taste. I used to be just like that. Also, if I drink even a bit, I couldn't sleep for a day. Mm. I find that like my not being able to sleep after drinking coffee is kind of unpredictable and maybe more to do with how much food I've eaten or if I've drunk it before I've eaten or something. Look at that majestic tavern up there. Got to ask Anna to say something in an Aussie accent. Oh no. I used to be really good at Aussie accents because I used to watch like Neighbours and Home Away and stuff as a lot of people in this country did. And um, I just, yes, I have to really, I don't know. I have to have, I have to hear it and then just copy it now. I used to be very good at it back in the day. Just full inventory also still screw up their attacks. Uh, I think probably yes. Mm hmm. Yeah. I don't think she's full though, is she? I don't know. Where's her extra like row? Dun 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 dun. Doo, doo, doo. Let me just give her a load of stuff. Yeah, she wasn't full. Mm -hmm. I take the. Uh, I can leave the bows. Uh, is she gonna no she she doesn't need arrows to use the bow. And I did give her arrows anyway. Yeah, I mean I feel like they've been screwed up from having a full inventory for ages, haven't they? Because she's a named bearer, she's got enough like space. Um dun, 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 dun. Um can I make sure that you eat some pork so you get buffed? And drink a potion. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Neighbours need to catch up the last week's episode. And another thing I watched while I was off, I, I revisited House, which I have watched at least five times all the way through. And I consider myself to be a fully trained diagnostician because of that. If you've watched House, do you know what I mean? I'm like obviously a fully trained doctor at this point. Although I'm not allowed to say that online. <laughs> I cannot help myself out as an expert, but you know, for the memes, if anybody's paying attention, <laughs> I consider myself to be one, as much of a hypochondriac as I've ever been. Am I going to let you use the, the shield? I don't want to let you use the shield, even if it does have reactive bleed. So yeah, I watched a lot of House, um, and the reason I mentioned that is because the one of the guys from Neighbours is in it. Isn't it? It's kind of gross, but if coffee has not the typical effect on blah, 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 I often find my resistance to caffeine is significantly higher. If coffee has not the typical effect on motility. I don't know. I don't know if I know how to interpret that. I mean, I, know, I get what you're saying about motility. Um, 
what was worse, you could find really attractive dancers, but they would be tier one while the tier four were not so great. The tier fours were awful decks, weren't they? I remember one one of my playthroughs I did well before I streamed. I decided to get, I wanted to get all the named dancers and I got a bunch of them. I had like, you know, Syra Brennehair. I had like Luba the Luscious. Obviously, she's easy to get. I had like Emu of Diketo. Uh, Le obviously, Leoniel. I had like a few Leoniels because I farmed Mounds a lot. Um... Uh, it's probably Senk, uh, probably, uh, I can't remember who else, but I had like a bunch of them, not everybody. Um, and then I was just very disappointed. Without improved quality of life mod, you'll know what I'm talking about. I found them to be disappointing. So yeah, so I find like number, like tier one dancers to be better anyway, just because they're disposable. Uh, number seven rope uh, weapon binding in the game. This is, um, this is just a... A different skin for a for a binding that you you got from like uh, I can't remember if it was the battle pass or if it was in the bazaar, but it's just a different appearance. Yep. Although it did have different recipe for it, which I don't agree with. I think it should always be. I think when they make anything cosmetic and sell it to us, it should just be a complete copy of something that is already in the game that you can just get at the level of, you know. The appropriate level i don't think it should give you any advantage i don't think the recipe should be different even if they're like oh but this looks like cotton it should have this or whatever um yep anna's angels i bet anna had them all line up and do a can cam i had the, the most beautiful bevy of beauties I, I might even have like screenshots or something for playstation i might have to go and have a look at some point try and find them what's your thoughts on conan age of war chapter four um it isn't it hasn't been announced yet so the dev stream is on friday if i may be vague um so i will kind of talk about it uh, once it's been announced um go back to conan now i have so much to relearn such as sorcery build with hammer etc i've been enjoying the tutorials yeah thank you i'm glad to, i'm glad you've been enjoying them um Sister is my least preferred thrall is the guy with long hair bald on top. I know, exactly. I agree with you. We will always replace him once we find someone better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's hilarious. Um, I did have a friend whose friend had hair like that. Did it, was it in real life? No, I think they chose it in game and I always think about that person. Um, but yeah, some of the hairstyles are not great. So I was really to try at least once personally. I only use the portals that you can make. I've seen a lot of golems, a lot of use of golems, which is interesting for sure. Yeah, although I don't know, golems count as sorcery, I guess. I haven't built golems, neither the portals. Have you watched the rather wonderful Slow Horses with Gary Oldman? Mm -mm. I haven't. Is there a movie or a series? It's lupus, it's always lupus. It's, it's never lupus and then it's lupus. And then it is, isn't it? So Dune chapter two. Yeah, Dune. They've started to really big up a lot, haven't they? Any news about the new update? Really hope they change combat. I mean, when enemies turn you turn to you as wild yeah chapter friday i'll be multi i'll be co-streaming on friday the the dev stream and you'll get all the information then fun to play with look forward to that yeah uh combat's terrible yeah chapter three combat is bad Leoniel, yes can't live without coffee have a cup and a biscuit every morning breakfast of soldiers yes rope was battle pass thank you kevin uh, I'll try soon, started a single play, I've already done all the dungeons, even the new one isn't new but it's the same. Um, she's into whips, I mean, they're useful in this game aren't they? Um, revisit Warmakers, look through the ice, yeah go to Warmaker definitely, revisit the dungeons, the dungeons have been refreshed for chapter, for chapter 3, uh, was it chapter 2 actually? probably chapter was it chapter three i think it was chapter three actually don't really remember having a dragon dragon mount. i would love dragon mounts uh, thriller that is one thing that i would really like but i think i don't know if it's just like a cop out <laughs> or if it is in law but apparently because of the law of the game um we can't have dragon pets because they're like conan hated them or something or i don't know I would love it. I would love dragon flying dragon mounts if I can have my way. 
Um, and generally, I don't use mods that aren't just like quality of life. Is that Anastera? Yes, is Anastera the Cirrus? No, it's just her model on a tier one. Um, Oh, this is a great place to get killed. And I don't have any heals on my help though. Dun 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 dun. We should get some heals from these people. Hi Sam. This is this is Lily's favourite hairstyle. Well, not a favourite. <laughs> dun 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 Do -do -do. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Okay, we'll take those. Ba -da -dum, ba -dum. Um Is that is yours any good any, any good? It's good for it is good, yes. The good loot from the enemies. Um, you can get armor. You used to get a lot of steel, didn't you? You don't really get steel anymore. Um, but yeah, good good crafting thralls. Nice dancers. Uh, what else? There's heroic treasure here. Um, you can get named like blacksmiths, armors, everything really. You know. It is quite a tough place to fight if you're new to the game. Uh, you can also get a frost giant pet from here if you get a lagad. If if at the Emir altar, Lagadara uh, spawns in daughter of Emir. Okay, that's not her. Um, then she drops a frost giant bodyguard pet, which you just place. You don't even have to like put them in a taming wheel or anything. Quite a low spawn rate though. Da da da. Do 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 do. Um, here's where she spawns, in that guy's place. If you see a very tall, hot lady with like strawberry blonde hair here, then um, that's Lagadara. She's very tall. You'll know her when you see her. You have to kill her. Dun dun dun. I don't know. I feel like maybe the drops were better here before. What do you think? I think the steel was brilliant. Bum, bum. Dun, 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 dun. Um, you can get steel tier like weapons and things and tools though. Steel cleaver, falcata. Silver bars. There's okay. Steel in the boxes, and repair kit, uh, damage kits and stuff for your weapons. You get Berry here, who's a blacksmith. Dun, 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 dun. Booze. Can I encourage you to nap off, sir? Oh, you plunkers. Dun, 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 dun. Do 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 do. Da. Mm. Do, do, do 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 Nobody good today. Daughter of Mir is in the book. She tricks Conan and almost gets some kills, and she runs off in his public mirror. So on the I mentioned earlier in the stream, if you went here, there's two ASMR like story times on my YouTube channel. One of them is um, Gods of the North, and that features her basically. So there's that story as I read that on my YouTube channel. Should you be interested. I always forget. Yeah, sack of coal. I always forget that you can pick that up. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. We would have upgraded a smanting bench outside. Most NPC counts as smanting weapons is good material brand. Yeah, definitely. I used to always do that at Mounds of the Dead. I would have like a little healing station with a dancer. Um... And a dismantling bench, so I would dismantle the star metal stuff. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Prowler. Nobody purchasable. 
These are Leonils I just placed here because I just like Leonil. No explanation required, right? These people just showed up. I'm looking forward to them sorting out the, the, the um, floor cushions because then we would have people spawning here, which would be kind of sweet. I need to put coal in there. I guess I could put coal. There you go. Better. This is the bedroom upstairs. I really like how this place turned out. I built it on stream. You can watch it on the YouTubes. I did kind of plot it out a bit beforehand on um, before the stream, which I think is kind of best way for me, really. Because uh, sometimes it's hard for me to stream and build stuff creatively. Not that it's too elaborate or crazy. I'm just to drops. Uh, I've been fighting dragons in the north near the ghost fence. Yeah. Looks like what I used to do is a salvage bench of materials and it is somewhat brilliant. Oh, bless you. I, I want to do some more. It's just choosing something to, to read. That's the only thing. I never really played much in that area. Hard to imagine how many hours I've played this game. I live in an area that has snow like five months out of the year, so I stay away in the game. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. I think that's why I like the desert in Conan, is because I live in a, a rainy country. Am oh, I right, Brits? You know what I mean? Um, uh, oh, what, what's that? The Yamatai build, Kel. Thank you for posting that. Into sip to drops. There were sure camp tons of real good stuff, and now they're dropping bedrolls and stuff like that. Yes, they did get rid of like crafting materials, didn't they? Um, but I think the steel from Azagoth was actually a really good like drop, wasn't it? That was really good to get. Nice tavern I'd visit. Ah, I do like that tavern. I really like the northern one as well. So, I mean, at some point I will wipe this server and just kind of start again. But I want to do like a bunch of builds on it first. And it is nice just to have kind of like a showcase of different things. Um, and then also, like I said, like somewhere that's level, have a level 60 character with everything just there if I need to like make content. You know, it's kind of a nice spot there really, isn't it? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. But they will be, you know, constantly bringing out new build sets and things. So there's always going to be new things for me to build, which is kind of fun. I built a spire in the lake, did you? Um, complex, thank you for the follow. That is the ASMR gods of the north. Thank you. Ah, the gods of the north. Thank you, Kel. Yeah. If you want some Conan story time. Uh, should it rains too much in the other areas than New River in the desert? New River also has that gorgeous music, doesn't it? I love that. I always forget how nice it is till I visit. It's like Sepp and Maru. I'm kind of obsessed with that. As soon as the music kicks in, I'm happy. I must say, after the first, like, sorcery chapter, first chapter one in sorcery or whatever, if I can put my words in the right order, I haven't really used sorcery that much. I've used it more on Scepter because it was kind of helpful to get teleportry stones to move around. But I don't know. I don't know. I found it, I found, like, the using the um, staff to be kind of clunky and took too much time and... I'd be much more likely to use potions. Um, they gave us some potions in the battle passes, didn't they? Um, free items so everybody could get them. But I, I kind of like being able to just drink a draft of slow falling or something instead of like casting a spell or that kind of thing. Um, so I would like them to move more towards that. And I would like sorcery more if it was if it was just a bit quicker because I'm I have like I'm in physical pain and I have to wait for anything. I'm like the most impatient person in the world. You know what I mean? Mass coal to resources. Mass coal's really... Yeah, I have used that when building. Am I going to die here? Maybe. Yeah, when I when I do builds um, beforehand, I quite often will spawn in a hyena skull helmet and um, uh, the staff or whatever and just clear an area. It's very handy for that. 
It's also some super dry weird trusty trees that look like trees near Shattered Springs. Yeah, they look like people. Yeah, yeah. Trying to build a castle above mounds where the saber tooth spawns. Nice, very nice. If you want to put pictures of your builds in the in the Conan Discord, I would love to see that in our Conan channel. Uh, if anyone isn't in our Discord, is that the link there? There's a link to all my socials there. There's a mod that let you craft single spell scepters for faster casting. Ah, oh. yeah, I would like that definitely. Combat sorcery would be nice if you haven't have the have to admit that harvesting sorcery had it had. It's had to, hard to beat, yeah. Yeah, so I do like, as soon as Sorcery came out, I got very excited because in Valheim you can throw, like, you can be a mage and you can throw spells and things at enemies, like fireballs and things. I really like that. That's the kind of sorcery I'd be interested in. Um, so yeah, I would like to see sorcery developed further. Um, I don't know if they feel like they made that content and they're moving on from it. Um, but I think it'd be good if they could develop sorcery a bit more. Um, that's the only th problem with ages is, um, apart from fixing something from a previous age, if they feel like they've created the content, it's been paid for, people have purchased stuff, and then their bosses expect them to kind of move on to other content sort of like chunks. And I feel like maybe the game is like a disadvantage. Do you know what I mean? I feel like... Um, yeah, we could do the Sigin Fortress, but I'd like to take a thrall there. We're not really prepped for that. Rebirth elixirs, yes, very useful. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Don't you dare give me hope. It is mean if you don't if you don't die from the fall. Uh, hoping for a force lightning or something like that. Some fireballs. Yeah, I really want like a staff that I can yeet enemies with. The only thing about that is, I feel like. I feel like maybe Valheim, I mean, I have to see how Ashlands feels, um, but I feel like you, you really, at a, how do I say this? It feels very dangerous when you play Valheim and you have to melee things and use your shield and parry. If you can just yeet, uh, like, lob fireballs at people from a distance, it does feel kind of, once you get to that stage, it feels a lot safer and you can just kind of get up high. Although you could always use a bow um, and then like ballistas, not ballistas, like the crossbow and things like that, I guess. Conan is pretty low magic setting, so I guess they don't want people to me. Fling fireballs with it. Yeah. I, I mean, I think you're right. I think the bow and um, like just traditional like melee weapons makes more sense for Conan. Just like I feel like flying mounts as much as I would like it, I don't know. I feel like a glider could be more fun. Um, I don't know. I do like running around, obviously, as you know. Uh, one way to improve Conan Sorcery could be to put the spells in the hotbar. You click the hotbar and the character casts the spells in Sorcery. Yeah, yeah. I just want it to be quicker. It needs to be more accessible. Definitely. I'd like if dancers emitted music when they dance. Maybe a different tune for each dance style. We definitely need, like, musicians or something, don't we? That would be good. Because, especially now that we have taverns, I would like some means to have different kind of music playing. Um, like, um, yeah, performers, if they could use... Because we have musical instruments, don't we? If we could kind of assign them to a musical instrument and have them play a tune, that would be brilliant. I don't imagine that can't imagine that'd be super like a lot of work i don't know wish the slow fall spell didn't wear off before my bath run runs out of stamina i think i have used a bat to travel once and i did it on stream and i got dropped and died and i have sworn them off ever since but the thing was that this type of sorcery didn't exist in conan so kind of restricted to the ip yeah and i know that they're very like careful to stick to the law of the game are my friends stuck somewhere Shall we reload? Musical stations totally agree with you there. Yeah. Da dum dum dum. Da da dum. I haven't been using the bow today. I forget how much fun it is. I haven't got my all my snackies and stuff. Um, early game I would pick up all those bone arrows, but now I'm on like hardened steel. This is a reach of the Red, Red Mother, which is fantastic. Da -da -da -da. 
This is Reach of Mad Mother, but it is transmogged uh, with pristine Kari bow using Fashionist, in case you wonder why it looks different. FYI. It's very fun against Tafari. I've got to make sure I don't kill Banaru Heavy Hands or something by mistake. Or, um, Ancina Hidden Daggers. People I would like to acquire. Hello, Brute. So shall I re like revive the solo series for chapter four? What do you want to see, peeps? Shall I start restart that? Or should I do something else? What do you think? Ooh, those horns are kind of useful for armor. I'm gonna take those. Um wasn't a reload she did admin te admin teleported yes what's the command to yeah it was admin teleport because i'm in admin mode so i can just like spawn things in if i need to um then i can basically Kevin just underscore h right underscore click. underscore underscore tipped 38 dollars and 20 cents i was going to type a message but didn't know what to say so i haven't put a message oh. X. thank you so much kevin for the tip that's very generous of you thank you very much Thank you, thank you. Holy poops. Savage Wilds. I should do that at some point. The problem is, is I just don't think enough people will watch that for me to justify it. I could do it off stream or something and maybe like upload it. Um, because I do want to play Savage Wilds. I just don't know if enough people want to watch me play it. I, you know what I'm saying? Um... That is a, that's kind of one thing that holds me back. Um, and the other thing is I need to be playing Exiled Lands. I need to be playing like vanilla kind of content. Obviously I use quality of life mods, but I need to be kind of like working through the content to kind of familiarize myself with this map. So I'd have to do it as like a second thing. I could maybe do it as like um, mid, um, how do I say, like a mid season thing. So after this, after chapter four has really been going for a while and you know, I've kind of gotten through a lot of the content. I could maybe do it then, perhaps, if enough people want. Yes, please. Look up War Drum from Chapter 3. Definitely you can have a thrall in it playing for you. Oh. Underscore, underscore, Kevin, underscore. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. That's very nice of you. Um, I'd say wait till we know what is coming to Chapter 4 before I know what kind of... Yeah, well, I mean, I already know. I guess. YouTube Savage Worlds edited series. Yeah, maybe an edited series. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, because I do want to play that map. Um, yeah. Although, so the disadvantage of me playing it off stream instead of on stream is that apparently there's not a lot of, like, uh, not a lot of stuff online about it. Not, there's not, like, a resource map and things like that. And I might benefit from people in chat who've played that map who have like information when I specifically ask for like help or like you know I don't know I don't know I feel like that will come up into a lot until I do it but like, I do I would like to play Savage Wilds because obviously I never played it before because I was on console but but we don't um now I'll be able to taste some mods. We can forget about mods when I try some as well. Yeah. Very exciting. I would recommend Hozavs, like, more than anything else. I think I couldn't live without Hozavs. Definitely. Um, not played Savage Worlds. I would love to see you play it. Okay. Okay. It's definitely on the list. Like, uh, definitely at some point. Um, I would like to choose a, a means of playing, like, Exod Lands for the Chapter 4. Generally, I do, like, a full playthrough, and I just do kind of, like, you know standard gameplay but with obviously quality of life mods and i kind of you know talk about what i'm doing why i'm doing it and that kind of thing um but i did want to do a solo challenge um i just kind of stopped last 
uh, chapter because uh, I just hated the combat changes. And I feel like they've changed it sufficiently that I could do it like single, uh, solo now. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I will do that. Yeah, I need to focus on new content. Exactly. Yeah. Have it in my post base official. Have war jump playing constantly. Do you? Okay. Uh, it's hard to say once you get a certain point in solo play, it kind of fizzles out, but you can get a few months content out of it. I feel like the solo challenge will be quick, to be honest. Um, I also would like to do a nomad challenge at some point, but I feel like that was really kind of... Um, that would have been excellent while the headhunter thing was on, because you just buy things. Da -da -da. Can I give you your coup de grace, my friend? In case we see somebody good in here. A new brew of music makes me em like em eminently happy. Sir, I don't see you. Thank you. Oh, scout right and a oh we got a scout right and a performer. Da 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 Valaris steps on toast. I don't know if I've... Have I ever had this one? Da, da, da. I don't generally collect the male dancers, peeps. I don't mean to, like, discriminate. But generally speaking, I prefer the female dancers. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of them, I'm like, oh, cool, male dancer, let's kill him. And now I have, do have improved quality of life mod. We do have a scout, right? But it's nice to have multiple things, I guess. Do I want to take the dancer? We'll take the scout right first. Where did he fall? Squirrel. Oh, he's over there. Hi, bud. You want to be my friend? Actually, no. Perfect. Follow me. I only prefer male dancers IRL. Opposite friendos. Um, made a fully automated arena in Pippi for the players to challenge. Can't do that in house halves. Oh, nice. Dun, 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 dun. What is your like must have mod, peeps? What do you like? Oh, I just can't live without that one. For me, it's house halves, just like the main thing. I do like being able to change my hair, and I like improved quality of life mod as well. Let's go get the dancer as well. Um, we could do with some snacks. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Looks at his 40 mods. I don't ask about your mods, Neff. I don't think I want to know. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, right? I don't think I want to know your list. The Wheel of Friendship. Hello, Dave. Indeed. It's where I make all my friends in real life and in game. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. High heel system. H high heel system. So does it just does it give you like the like click clicky clacky sound of like high heels? I've never used that. Oh, could be fun. Captions captions help. I was have to. Storage mods hate a game with so much map gathering, absolutely crap storage. Yeah, unlock plus is very good. Mm. Immersive artisans. How does that work? Oh, it's a good day for friendship acquisition. Into the combat changes hot fixes yes yeah i know a lot of people keep kept playing the game because of the the modders work yeah is that because i'm a dear old man i make no comments upon your 
uh, any of those uh, qualifiers. <laughs> I just, I just dread to think. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, Understands give you ability to edit the crafters, etc. Gives them a lot of voice lines. Really. Hmm. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. I think if I wasn't streaming, I would maybe have a much he more. I would have a more heavily modded game, or at least like another one. I don't know. I would have like a server that was much more modded or something. You know, the thing is, I don't want to split our player base. Uh, we did have an Exiled Land server and a Sipta server, and I just ended up feeling like. I don't know, I feel like people build something and then the server just runs to kind of keep people's buildings there and they just kind of refresh and then it just feels kind of like a waste of effort and resources, you know what I mean? Um, but I would like to play with some of the more kind of... How do I say? I don't know. Gameplay changing mods and things like that? I don't know. Maybe one day. Let's have three immersive artisans and experience some shiny stuff. Mm hmm. That's favorite mod has something to do with food. I don't even want to know. Don't want to know. <laughs> Ooh, who are you? Tana. I guess running along New River, the coup de grass is perfect, isn't it, really? Ah, oh, the music is so good. Bum, bum. Do, 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 do. Ever thought about a role playing mod? I don't know. How do they work? I don't know. I I don't think you'll ever get me, like, doing proper roleplay. I find, like, and I respect everybody who likes it. I'm like, you do you, boo-boo. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to yuck your yum and stuff. But I just don't know if it's me. And I say that as somebody who, like, kind of soft roleplays in Valheim, don't I? I mean, I like, you know, constantly, like, talking to the... Doing voices for the enemies and stuff and memeing about and stuff. Um you know, talking to the trolls and whatnot. Um, but I feel like that's the extent of my ability to, like, roleplay uh, in a game. You know, just memeing and doing voices for people. You know? I'm happy that people f find enjoyment from it, and I think you probably get a lot more gameplay and whatnot. It's just, uh, it just doesn't feel... Maybe I'm too British, I don't know. Um, will the G music be able to match Conan? That's a good question. My God, it's so good, isn't it? The music is like the music and the kind of ambiance. If I may sound a bit wanky, um, is one of the best things about this game. It feels very immersive. Although I did uh, for a long time before I started streaming. I actually used to have the music turned off in this game because I would always have YouTube videos playing while I played because that's just, you know, Ad Ashta stuff. I would just like constantly have, I would be playing and I would always be watching slash listening to something um, and not even music probably. And I would usually be chatting to people as well because I would be in like, like PlayStation voice chat and stuff. Tier 4's everywhere today, I know, so many. You have to pretend you're in exile in a foreign desert trying to survive. So, I could do it. I could do it in a meme-ish kind of way. I could do like I could do it in a comedic kind of way. I don't I don't think I could do it in a serious way. You know what I mean? I could play a silly character and um, you know, if I thought I was being funny and amusing, I would enjoy that probably. Although I don't know how long I could keep that up for. I certainly couldn't keep that up for like seven hours or something. And I know I don't stream for seven hours that many, t that frequently anymore. But, no. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that would have to be a recorded series because that would be exhausting to do over a long period of time like, to keep it up. You know what I mean? Especially playing solo. Um... Pippi, Barbarian, Barber, Hozav's Pets, Mounts, Thrills are Alive, Couple of NSFW, Change of Characters, Elves, Cat Girl, and Demons. Right. I'll watch this in something while I'm playing it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, a lot of people who watch my channel are either working with the stream on in the background. I'm talking to you right now. You. Yes, you. Who's working, quote unquote. Um, and also, you know, people who are just like people like, like Twitch like I do. Because they want somebody who's also playing the game in the background. It's 
kind of like company, it's kind of cozy, you know, that kind of thing. When do we see you beat the Arena Champions of Death with an arm? Today! You want me to see, you want me to beat her with an arm, like on a daily basis? Is that like on a regular basis now? Where am I? A muscular man just chopped me of a cross and told me to live, love and slay. What the hell? Roleplay properly, yes. Exactly. Who is this turd wallet? Why is he shirtless? Where's this sunscreen? And where did the axe come from? And where is he now? Okay, we know where he is actually. You're the last survivor from a band <laughs> strapped in a dungeon. You have to figure out the right combination to open the gate by manipulating the right... Do you mean levers? Yes. Yes. I mean, I do there, don't I? We'll play there a bit. Building a castle right now, are you? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Also, I, what I like about streaming this game is I feel like it's a bit of like... It's like a bit of a social forum, isn't it? To kind of discuss stuff and, you know, talk about problems in the game and make suggestions. I think I quite like that. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, tar man, we've killed you twice today, sir. Bum, ba -da -da. Do 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 do. Ba -da -da. Bum, bum, bum. If I had both my pieces of food, if I had my food and my agility um, elixir of grace, I would have killed him in one hit then. And you, sir. I'm calculating correctly, the next stream will be covering the fun costume and then a proper one this weekend. Um, so I will be streaming tomorrow. Um, and then on Friday is the dev stream, which I'll be co-streaming. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I will say wiping down my cupboards and cleaning the house is much more interesting while listening to someone watching stream. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I, I did a bunch of like spring cleaning recently and i found like i like podcasts and stuff and like i think if you find something that you kind of like the tempo of and it's not too loud or it's not it's, not, it's kind of even consistent sort of sound and you're vaguely interested in what's being talked about i find like podcasts and stuff and streams quite useful live laugh slay yeah conan's conan's instagram probably Chatting whilst murderizing is surprisingly relaxing past them. It's just relaxing to murderify. What can I say, Morden? I just like it. But mechanics feel so wrong right now, do they? How does it feel? Are you, are you playing on uh, PC already, Paolo? What's the sitch? Dun, 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 dun. Um, not an RP server guy because I love how I love the low fantasy Bronze Age setting, which most and most RP servers are very high fantasy, which I can't get it. Which I can get anywhere else. Mm hmm I see. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, I think it's great. I think the imagination, like, involved in it is brilliant. And I think, you know, if you enjoy it. I just, I, I just... I mean, I could only do it if I was memeing hard. And, um, you know... Um, like, you know, the way Neebs guys do, um, you know, roleplay. I love that. Because then they kind of, like, break it a bit, don't they? And, and stuff. I think it's funny. Um, live, love, sleep, merch idea. Combat mechanics feel so wrong. Must admit, I'm currently relaxed, relaxed about the combat. I think that I've gotten used to it. It doesn't feel as good as it did before. I'd like it to be changed, but I've kind of adjusted because I haven't modded it out. Um, like it when you do voices, we need more of that. I'll oh, bless you. I did really enjoy it. When I do Valheim, I just, I don't know what it is about Valheim. Um, maybe because when I first... When I first played it, I played off stream, but I didn't play for very long. I think I played for about nine hours. Then I played it with a friend off stream and loved it, had a great time. And then I was having a bit of a tough time IRL and Valheim felt like a safe place for me. That sounds, I don't know. Let's move past how you might feel about that. Um, and, and then, so a lot really like, my learning that game was on stream and there's very colourful, silly characters and it just kind of made me want to do silly voices and, and think, imagine how they might think or feel. And so I did a lot of, like, voices for that. Um, and I will return to that game when Ashens comes out. Not before. 
Um, but I don't know, maybe because Conan, I'm just used to like playing with people and um, try harding, I guess, or used to like, used to anyway. Um, I don't find myself like talking to the creatures, you know. I think this people wanted to create a kind of pop kind of what else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I definitely I like it to feel I like the game. I like the lore. I like the characters. I like the kind of style of it. I don't want to kind of change it to another game, you know. And I realise if you played it a lot and you're kind of sick of that and you might want to like mod it um, to be to feel like a different game but in the same world with the same friends, then I think that's totally cool. Um but I did briefly play on a very heavily modded server when I first got my PC. Um, and it just, I don't know, it just didn't feel like Conan, you know. Um, so, and I like, I like Conan as it is, really. Oh, shizzle nits. Uh, that was a close one, my friends. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Calendrous. Did we have a voice for the trolls too? Oh, yeah. I did voices for the trolls as well. There's a bunch of clips. If you want to see that stuff, there is like um, there's like a, what is the word for it? A folder on my Twitch channel for like roleplay with just me doing silly voices. Um, but there's a bunch of clips for Valheim if you want to see what that was like. Um, which is usually me talking to the grey dwarves or the trolls. Almost, I know, so close. Oh, Night Sulphur, thanks for hanging out. Not even a not even a war cry while falling, I know. No. Harm under pressure. Strange. I think this game had bugs, but that was a big one, I know. Oops a cliff, yeah. Oopsie. Dun 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 dun. This is like I, I was talking about biomes and stuff for Dune. Um and I just really, I really, I really like this game because of the biome diversity. I like that you can kind of, you really feel like you're moving around a world. It feels like, it feels interesting and varied. Where's the cat? Is it up there? There it is. Um, so yeah, for me to play something for a really, really long time and get really addicted to it, I have to be able to be like, oh, I feel like living in the jungle on this playthrough, or I want to move into the jungle and have a different kind of experience. That's definitely what I want for Nightingale in the future as well. I mean, they have said they'll do more biomes. I really want like a snow biome and I don't know. I feel like the swamp in the forest are not that different, are they? In terms of, I don't know. I mean, they are, I guess, but I prefer the forest to the swamp. Dun, 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 dun. I bet there's a um, I bet there's a mod to change how many hotbar keys you've got for this game. I never thought about it till just now, but it'd be kind of nice to have a nine and a zero. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Do 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 do. Bidding you a good night. Good night, Morden. Could play Valheim long enough to suffocate in my own campfire. Ah, yes. The joys of setting yourself on fire in a video game. I just the game today for a brief moment to try to figure out why in Shroud and Nightingale aren't recognising my GPU, but Conan and Powell did. I don't know, I don't know, but I bet somebody in our tech channel on the Discord or somebody here will probably be able to give you some advice on that. By all means, use the resource of these friendos. I, have, I do find the tech chat to be very helpful, personally. Um, back to Conan, where we, where we belong. Yes, hello, Funtime Bear. I know. We took a nice long break and I'm excited for chapter four. Can't wait. It's been too long. Um, Grace under pressure. Yeah. So biome is coming for sure once in wild. Fey ones with upside down trees and wonky rocks and stuff. They're very pretty, like the biomes. I like that the minor cards change like, like visual things and, you know, uh, damage and harvesting yields and all that sort of stuff. Um, very exciting. I'm really... Uh, I'm excited to see what happens the next few years for Nightingale because I feel like there's there's just so much they can do with it, you know. 
Okay, great jungle base idea here. The silkworms are pretty cosy, yes. Very cosy indeed. Not at all dangerous. We're in the creepy old men section. Hello. Ooh, ooh. So sorry. Ooh. This is one of my least visited areas on the map. Just generally, like the swungle, I guess. Um, I generally I come in this direction when I need to get purple lotus. Although now that you can get it from Skelly's in the unnamed city, I feel like I need it less. You can kind of miss it. Look at her; she's not turning. Dun, 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 dun. Do, 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 do. Da, da, da. Do, do. I'd love some more biomes for this game. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? I know we have like a variety, but yeah, if they could just expand this map, if they could upgrade this map to Unreal Engine 5, give us, um, I don't think I have a harvesting tool. I don't really need purple lotus, I don't think. Um, yeah, upgrade this map to Unreal Engine 5 and expand it and have more biomes and more variety and new creatures, new du new dungeons, you know, like a significant amount of new content just on the map. I love that so much. Creepy old men section, I'm not there, that's it. Yeah. The long break as well, it's a combat change that people are mentioning. In chapter three, they changed combat to so the camera felt really crappy. Um, enemies facing you would like pivot on a dime, as you might say, um, and their face would just be like, literally their nose was like attached to you. So you'd be running around and around a spider, like bosses, it was the most difficult. Spiders or crocodiles, and they would just freaking pivot perfectly following you. Uh, in an unrealistic way, you couldn't get an attack in. Camera facing was weird for us. Um, there was a lag to it. Uh, what else? You just didn't have as much control to turn as you did in Chapter 2. Um, that was the main thing, really. They changed a lot about like AI tracking and stuff like that. Um, it was just kind of generally tougher, but it just didn't feel good either. It felt janky. Um, so they have made some minor changes. Um, and hopefully we'll have some more changes in Chapter 4 that kind of make it feel better. Um, because they had changed things in chapter two so that we could move while we were attacking the way we were facing, you know, and it just in chapter three, it felt awful. Um, humming while chopping up she wills and imps. Yes, you know, I'm happy when I'm humming and I'm modifying people, you know, it's me in my happy place. Definitely at home in this game. Absolutely. This is my like, you know, it's my happy place. Definitely. One thing Valheim has is a huge map. Yeah, very big map. Yeah, and because it's procedurally generated, there's a lot of replayability with Valheim, which I really like, which is why I've started that game so many times. Um, it's good for like, good for me as a content creator. Uh, good evening, Flat Cap. Um, making the map larger is not practically possible for technical reasons, unless they use all the bugs and lag. Kill the conclusion the designer the won't sell them or make his dungeon. Yeah, I mean, I would be happy if there were areas we could load into and out of, you know, like um, some kind of gate or something. Uh, are you chasing me? I could see like a, f a little flash of blue by me. Um, but yeah, I, w I want more content. But I, the thing is, I don't want to leave this map because I love this map. Um, but I want it to be, I want it to be better optimized. I want it to be, you know, higher quality graphics. Like long term, like right now, it's fine, you know, quote unquote. Um, but I would like it to be upgraded um, so that it's kind of it's it's good long term. Um, and I want more variety and stuff like that, you know. That's it. Do 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 do. Dun, da, 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 da. I would be happy with the Conan Exiles two, but I would still want to play Conan Exiles one as well. I love this map. I mean, I've said that multiple times today, but um, no problem. 
you know it's unconditional love when your friendos all die for you, yeah. Just need code next to Conan builds Conan builds a new tavern. Yep. Dun 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 do 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 Why use a horse when you can just run around? I think you should have to like get on and off the horse and then kill something, get back on the horse. It's too long, people. It takes too much time. Why would I do that to myself? Okay, next is too like Ark Ascended in a remake of one, but better. Y yeah. Yeah, but I guess we... I want this map to be upgraded, but I also want, I guess, new maps and things. So the problem is like... I feel like people go and play Sipta and then they come back to Exiled Lands and then Sipta just doesn't get played. Um, but I would be okay with just like some new like map expansions. Um, I'd be okay with that. I mean, I don't mind if there's no one else on the map because when I play, I don't... You know, I play with friends or I play, you know, single player. So I don't really mind about servers being quiet, but I used to really care about servers being quiet. Uh, and I know a lot of you will feel that way, because we used to have, like, um, big surges of people playing. No, Like, you couldn't play on your own server because you couldn't get on it. There was nowhere to build. Suddenly everybody was playing. And then people would stop playing in a couple of weeks, and then the servers would be dead. And it felt kind of boring and kind of weird and empty. Um... So yeah, I know a lot of you will care about and like empty maps and stuff. Wish there were roving bands of people you could come across, merchants, etc. Yeah, definitely. That would be great. Da 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 da. Do, 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 do. I remember the first time I saw these bones and being like excited and thinking what is this from what creatures are there and then you know I never found anything that like was big enough for that I guess it's just like ship bones or whale bones or whatever but I remember thinking oh cool I remember not knowing my way around the map and I'm not even using the map, because I played with friends who just like were like, oh, we're going to go over here today. And I would just follow them around, run around, and it was such a great adventure. Yeah. NPCs to rescue or something too, yeah. I definitely think rescuing and hiring instead of like bludgeoning and forcibly acquiring is probably better like long term for the game. And probably a bit more palatable to like people who are new to it, you know. So I think they're just giving us more options though at the moment, aren't they? Maybe bring out your dead <laughs> cart like it. Holy cow. Listen, any carts are unwelcome. Do you know what I'm saying? Fancy ice cream right now, mint chocolate chip or salted caramel. Oh my god, that sounds so good. I'm, I think I'm a salted caramel person, although mint choc is freaking delicious. Anything that would make the map feel travelled. Mmm. Are they? Gotta loot them for some Argosian dream dust. And uh, masks, because now they all drop them, right? Which is weird. It's Timos here. Where are you, buddy? There he is. Hi, sir. Oh, used to be special person. Did you drop your armor? You did, didn't you? And some Sobek boots. Interesting. Okay. Let's gather everybody's, like, gear. Sack of flesh. Oh shit, I didn't mean to put that on you. 
Is that everybody's loot? Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. da, da. Did I take your shoes? What did I do? Hello? How did I do that? I right clicked it. I do apologise, madam. I love this stream dust stuff just to carry on you because it doesn't weigh anything. And then if you get in a pinch when you're dragging a thrall, then it's kind of helpful. Although, you know, less of a problem now because um, we've got that like aura of like light around us in the darkness. But kind of helpful. Really awful if you use it in the daytime. It is obnoxious. Generated map would be neat, but don't know if the engine can do it. Yeah, I don't think they'll do that. Kind of makes sense, Valheim Nightingale, whatever, I'm here to support out of bad puns. Oh, bless you. I'm happy to have you. Um, is that Ben Conan two weeks ago? Absolutely loving it. Ah, oh, that's good. I'm glad. It's such a great, like, new experience. Um, what about burying alive, rising as undead friends? Is that more palatable? I think that is more palatable, Dentrius. Definitely. Undead friendos. You know, you can slap them around, then you don't feel so bad talking to you Nelson <laughs> hello G hello hello the wonderful game to explore for sure yeah it's such a great adventure I will never forget my first like time I played this game I just fell in love with it and that's really why I have so much time in it I just just loved it so much I always have that nostalgia And we did go for a long time where they didn't bring out any new content. But I remember when, you know, it was like new dungeons coming out and, you know, new build sets and like the DLCs were so good. You know, new armor and it was it was a heyday really, wasn't it? And now at least they're bringing out regular content updates, you know. Even though the monetization is obnoxious and I wish they would change that. I want them to be compensated, you know. They deserve to be comp compensated, and um, but you know, come on now. Don't be like Blizzard. Dun 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 dun. If I was using my festering one axe, I would have probably used all the durability by now because with this weapon i don't have to hit very many times there's a the thing about doing a high damage build and using a high damage weapon axes you have to hit with like a lot like you have to hit about four times or five times a lot of enemies hi there um and my point being you know back in the day when you could repair it that wasn't such a big deal but now you now that you can't repair them it's a problem we have probably murdered everybody on the excellent lands today just been like running around killing everybody it's been good warms the heart you know corsair champion hello I haven't seen you before. You were very tough. Thank you for your trouble. A steel mace and an Ardwolf trophy from Scepter. You got your... What do you got? Coup de grass. Okay. So you won't kill anybody useful. Hmm. I think that's the first champion I've found in the wild. But then I didn't play like a full playthrough on chapter 3 like I usually do. Hi there, sir. The old system had its problems. Oh, the, the old purge. I prefer the old purge. I liked it. Yeah, I like the new one in some ways. I just wish we had the variety. 
miss the old way. Yeah, miss the old ways of the game. Hate the purge system. Mm -hmm. Purge system has changed in the last little bit, so it's option only. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. Made a large circle of mayhem. Yes, live, run, slay, warm the hearts. <laughs> Like unrepairable legendaries, yeah. So I did say earlier, like I'm I'm okay with the unrepairable legendaries, but certain things like you know the axe, uh, festering one axe. I feel like it needs more durability because you have to hit so many times to kill compared to other weapons. And a razor. The great axes are kind of scary on enemies, aren't they? Particularly scary on a freaking berserker. your cramps. <laughs> oh. Usually I end up with loads of dupes. Yeah. I haven't had a problem with... Uh, if, if, if I use these weapons, if I use my Bector Corbin and my Baltius Razor, I don't have a problem, really. Um, Heart's Blood runs out pretty quickly, so I tend to just use those like for specific situations. Um, but if I want to use anything from the unnamed city, I feel like, um, because I don't want to do the unnamed city as much. I, I don't, I used to grind the unnamed city until I got my, um, festering one, until I got sort of crom, until I got quake, uh, until I got my dragon scale helm, uh, what else? Um, and then I would like, you know, I would only farm it just to get fragments. Um, I want to kill the kitty. Don't kill the kitty, my cat will know she's going to kill me. I live under a, a, oppressive, an oppressive re regime where my cat just like, she knows what I do in games. <laughs> Are they? Uh... farming stuff the magic is kind of gone from your if you're farming stuff the magic yeah the magic is gone yeah yeah definitely i mean i did spend a lot of time farming things though and we all did right that's a large part of the game was grinding to get the thing you wanted like the pristine weapons from um the mini bosses in the wine cellar it was such it took so long to get them and then you know getting the specific uh, armorers because you wanted to make the the epic flawless version um you know it was a lot of the game was that so i've taken some of that out of it i do kind of miss some aspects of that um and i missed i think the temperature system needs a really good chat <laughs> they need to have a good chat with the system because it's really awful the way it is now you know, clothing and stuff. And then, do 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 do. Mm -hmm. 
But I catch myself running laps at Mans, I realise it's time for a break. Yeah, there's a kitty. A rare treasure. I don't remember that chain but that is very like me that chain's never been there before actually i know it's always been there find myself now just playing to do specific build of a base once it's completed I can lose interest yeah yeah I mean that's one of the fun things I think about doing a fresh playthrough for me is like what am I gonna build how am I gonna decorate it create a new world create a new character the whole adventure will you freaking stop it you turd wallet I'm like five crippled here That was mean. You're a meanie. I'm going to take your eggs. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen cooked eggs before. Snackies. And um to modify you and all your friendos. Sit. Make sure you take his uh, scorch stone piece from him if you want to free yourself from the XL lands. Oh, hello. A steel hatchet. Oh, very exciting. And the main reason to come up here I think. <laughs> How much of a grinder once you've done, done once I've done each dungeon I have managed to rip off the base and start again in a game as well. Early game is freaking great, I agree. Yeah. That's why I've I, I I wish I had like a number of how many times I've started this game, honestly. Ten out of ten, thank you, thriller. Thank you very much. Checks in the post. Don't think I've caught you live on YouTube yet. Oh hello Asker, how you doing? Yeah, haven't done Conan for like two months, so been on a hiatus. I'm excited to be back, kind of warming up today for the chapter four update. This it's on both, yes, it is on both. But there's drops on Twitch at the moment. If I put any game leveling but high level building, yeah. Well, I'm going to keep this world for level 60 so I can have that at my disposal and like building and things and all the materials and then I will I will do a fresh playthrough for chapter 4. Dun, 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 dun. YouTube just confused the heck out of me. Hello, hello. But I guess it gives another way of realising I'm live, which is good. Well, friendos, 
composite obsidian. That's a nice little drop. I think we're going to leave it here for today. Thank you, everybody, so much for hanging out. Um, I've really, really enjoyed myself kind of getting back into Conan and chatting with you all. There's a space between you and the oil. Your turn works. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching and hanging out. I give the follows bits, you know, subs and all the things. Thank you to Kevin for the big uh, tip. Appreciate that very much. Very helpful. Um, yeah, chapter four. The dev stream is on Friday. I will be co-streaming that. Um, yes, on <laughs> Twitch and YouTube. Oh my God, my brain suddenly stopped working. I will be co-streaming it. So yeah, hang out with me. I will be doing some giveaways for Steam keys and stuff as well. Um, keep an eye on our socials whatnot in the next 24 hours won't you um yeah join us on discord follow me on twitter follow on twitch subscribe on youtube all the things you know all the good stuff um yeah i'm excited to be back on conan so thank you very so much and i will see you tomorrow